This is one single block in the middle of an endless void. And that's me. For the next 100 days, I'll be surviving on this tiny block. I'll have to be extra careful so I don't fall into the void below me. I managed to progress through all 10 phases to get the resources I need to make my awesome base. And in the end, I beat the Ender Dragon. I also give my base a huge remodel towards the ending of the video, so stay tuned to see how it went. Let's just get right into the video though. Alright, this is the beginning of one block. It's just me on this single block, which I'm sure a lot of people have already seen since one block is pretty popular. I've also played one block once before and it's actually uploaded on this channel, but it was two years ago, I think. Or maybe one year ago. I think it was actually probably just one, but either way, I've kind of forgotten a lot about one block and I'm ready to try again. So the first thing I have to do is break the block. Three pieces of dirt and we get a nice log. Our first chest, which gives us some food and seeds that we could plant. Also, I just realized that this is not hardcore mode. So let me see if I can change that in the main menu. I didn't find it in the main menu, but I think you can edit the NBT value or whatever. So maybe I'll do that later. But for now, I'm going to use a texture pack. But obviously, I'm not going to cheat if I die. You guys can trust me. A pig just fell off the cliff. What the heck? This is my first attempt, so hopefully I can beat the one block with one try. Usually I don't really die in my challenges, but I have once here and there when I wasn't paying attention maybe at the start, but one block does have a void, so it's a bit more difficult. I think it's probably a good time to craft a workbench and some other good items like slabs or something because it's telling me to place a block underneath and stuff and pigs spawned already and one of them fell off the cliff, so I need to be more prepared. All right, just a couple more slabs and I have the whole outer radius slabbed. I'm also going to pick up my workbench. So I don't want to leave it right next to the block. There we go. And we got a water bucket. So we're going to leave this here for now permanently and also place a block underneath like it's said to. There we go. Also, let's go ahead and make an axe out of wood where we can break this chest faster. But I'm probably going to wait for other tools. Well, there's a log, so I can definitely use my axe to break that. And some more grass, which will come in handy later. Ooh, we got a gift, which has some wood and a torch in it. Not that helpful, but thank you for the gift, one block. And we're already upgrading to the second phase, or the first phase, I think? Which is probably called the planes, if I remember correctly. Alright, there we go. We're on the second phase already. But I have a feeling the next phase will take a little bit longer to come. Alright, we got another pig, which is always a nice thing. So maybe I'm gonna try to expand with some more slabs for now. I'm really bad at building circles, and I know, like, circles look really good with the one block especially, but I think I might just make a straight line, like, just a line with everything that I own going one way maybe since i don't really know how to build a circle i probably will end up trying to build a circle but for now let's just start building the line all right a cow has also arrived on the island now which will be nice for some free food later and a sheep i should probably start trying to move these animals somewhere i don't really have a spot for them right now okay we moved the cow maybe i can just make two fences and a fence post and trap them all behind here something like this oh excuse me mr cow there we go and maybe if i just pit that there they won't be able to get around i don't know we should probably put two more to be safe okay now the cows should be safe behind there or all the animals i just gotta move two more of them okay this sheep is not wanting to go into the fence but i think i finally got the sheep in okay now we just need the pig i should probably name the animals so i could call them something but i don't really feel like it so they will rename unnamed but i'm back to breaking the block now i'll get some saplings and like some other nice items I kind of hope I could make a bed soon, but I don't think that's going to happen the first night. But it doesn't look like any mobs can spawn, which is a good thing. Well, I'm still just breaking blocks and more animals keep spawning. I feel like I should have put these fences closer, because push the animal all the way over here is not very fun. Or entertaining. Okay, so close. There we go. Now I have two chickens. I could also breed them with some seeds that I got. Oh, that's so cute. A chicken family. Now it's time to lock them away with all the other animals. If I can get them over there because their hitbox is very small. I probably only need two of each animal and then I can stop moving all of them. Because I really don't feel like it in the first place. And I can breed them all later hopefully. Okay, watch out. I think last time I played one block I like made the villagers go extinct by accident. I guess I'll just keep mine the one block since it's night time. Oh, we got birch sapling. I don't like birch trees that much but a sapling is a sapling. Ooh, a pig. We need one more sheep and one more cow and we should be good. I got another cow, so I'm probably going to try to move him too now. But cow's hitboxes are pretty big, so it should not take that long. There's just a lot of animals in there, so I hope no one runs out while I open the gate. Okay, there we go. Maybe I should also place some dirt and then the two fences again. 
There we go. I think I'm also gonna let some grass grow before grass even disappears from the block. I don't know if that ever happens, but better safe than sorry. So I will have to wait for this grass to grow and then I'll keep mine the block. I will just AFK right here. You know, on second thought, you might actually need like sunlight for the grass to grow. So I don't know how long this will take, but I will place grass all around for the chances are higher. Maybe I'm not sure how it works. All right, maybe it will grow in a second. Um, I don't know. I'll keep mining for now, I guess. Probably get a grass block from a chest. I doubt they would make you do this because then no one would have grass for their sheep. So I'm probably wasting a bunch of time by doing this. Oh, it's turning to day two, so maybe the grass will grow if the sun is out. Hopefully, at least, because maybe it's not even possible. I probably shouldn't be waiting for this, because I don't remember, but they definitely give you a grass block, I feel like. Please, magical grass, grow, for I can spread your greatness throughout the land. I'm just kidding, but I hope it does grow. Maybe I should just keep... Actually, I'm just gonna mine the block because it'd be so dumb if they didn't give you a grass block. I feel like that just isn't something that they would do. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing in these 100 days. I'm just kind of winking it. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I kind of want to finish all 10 phases definitely in these 100 days. And I also want to build kind of a cool base. I'm not that good of a builder and I could use some nice practice. I might just try to build something really awesome. I think I'll name it the line. It's gonna be like a huge line of everything. I think it'll be kind of funny, especially since I can't build. And my axe just broke, so I'm gonna need a new one. All right, there we go. We have another chicken and a sheep. Oh yeah, another sheep. If we move the sheep, we could have two sheep, so we should probably do that. Very difficult process. Please get in there. Okay, there we go. Now we have two of every animal, I think. And goodbye, Mr. Chicken. Another chest uh, that gives us two oak saplings. I might try to plant them, maybe? I don't know. There's not really much room. That's why I was kind of hesitating. I think I'll just plant them both there and if they grow, then I'll count it as a win. For now, I'm just gonna keep mine those since at the beginning of one block, that's really all you can do. I'm kind of waiting for a bunch of resources to start spawning and stuff like that. I don't even have stone tools because I need cobblestone, which should come pretty soon. I think we're probably pretty close. If I'm remembering correctly again, the second stage... Oh, okay, we're already there. It is called the underground, I think. I guess we'll find out in 10 seconds. Ooh, I also got a grass block. I just popped up in my inventory. So good thing I didn't wait. Well, I did wait, but I gave up eventually. Okay, phase two, the underground. Okay, I was right. We're gonna need some wooden tools though. So I'll make a wooden pick and a wooden shovel. And now I'm just gonna keep on mining. I don't really remember the phases after this now, so everything is gonna be a surprise to both of us. And I mean, I should probably keep it a secret anyway for all the people first time watching. We're getting some coal, that's awesome. But we could make charcoal anyway, so it's not very useful, I guess. Okay, we're gonna need a stone pick now, which will also help us mine faster, so that's a good upgrade either way. We have to use our iron very sparingly, if that's the correct word, because we do not have an infinite amount for a very long time. Eventually, we can get some sheeps and stuff, but until then, we're gonna have to be careful. I'm also gonna start sharing the sheep so we have the option to go to bed whenever we want. Okay, a mushroom cow. We should probably save this guy for mushrooms too. So I guess one more animal. I thought it was done, but it'd be a bad idea not to keep this guy because of how easy his food is. Okay, well, he's kind of off the cliff. I'm not sure how many of these guys you get too, so I gotta be careful. It might just be one. Or maybe two, then we could breed them. I need some storage space. I will use this chest right here. Just put some stuff I don't need away. And I will also get some more mushroom stew because it is such an easy food source, like I said. So now I'm just gonna keep mining like I was before until something interesting happens, which probably won't be long since one block, there's always something happening. And some dirt, I won't complain about that. Last time I played this, I had this like fence post in idea that like blocked the animals but it didn't really work since they just when they spawn there's like this three by three block break event so essentially everything you built would get deleted but i was thinking since i knew i was gonna play one block again after i think it's probably been a year or something maybe i could just make a room around it with some gates to run out so i could be safe from the monsters and bow them or hit them from a distance at least that's my idea now. I'm not sure if it'll work. I don't really remember how the mob spawning works in the first place, but when it's time, I'm going to try it and I hope that it works. All right. The first zombie spawned and I was not expecting that. Goodbye, zombie. So maybe it's time we build the bunker that I was talking about. So for my idea, I'm going to need a lot of slabs and then 
Well, actually, we're gonna have to expand this too because this is not big enough. But yeah, we got my water source there still in case we fall off the cliff. And then I think one more expansion will probably do the job. I hope I'm doing this right. Like I said, I'm not good with circles, but who is? All right, and then I'll go one block out. Uh, well, that's actually kind of small. Maybe this big. Okay, this is a lot of work. I hope this actually works. And then I think we do something like that. Okay, there we go. Almost there. Okay, now we just need one more side. Oops, misplaced the block. And I think this is actually sick. Nope, that's five. I was wrong. All right, there we go. The first layer is done. Okay, I'm actually kind of regretting this already. This looks so stupid. I do have a tree I can break, but that's kind of slow. So let's upgrade the axe. Well, we can use birchwood to make sticks because birchwood looks bad most of the time. And I mean, I'm sure birchwood is somebody's favorite log, but personally, I do not like it that much. Okay, we're gonna have to use all of the slabs we have left. I mean, all of the wood too. This should be big enough. It looks kind of like a boxing ring, which is appropriate for what we'll be using it for. All right, just one more layer. One, two, one, two. Actually, let's do a three by three. And we can also break this because we got the piece of grass. Okay, there we go. Ooh, the iron's done, so we also have shears now too. All right, I was kind of forgot what I was doing, but I'm making fence gates, which is two wood in the middle and two sticks on the sides. All right, five fence gates, let's maybe do six. And then this should work. So if we're running away from a monster, I guess we can only do three. We just do this. And these blocks should not get broken with the automatic break feature that the one block has. So I can do this. And now if any monsters or a monster's party spawns, whichever one it is, I forget how it works. I just do this and then I'm safe. Well, actually, if I think about it, there's Elder Guardians. And last time they were really easy to kill because they jumped off the edge by themselves. So maybe I actually undo the edges just like this. And I maybe guide everything off into the void. So something like that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just a couple more slabs and we'll be done. All right, I finished that. So if anything spawns, they hopefully jump off the cliff or I can hit them myself. And I'm also going to shoot the sheep for they can... Well, there's no grass, except this one block, but maybe they'll regrow. Either way, I can make a bed already, so maybe I should make a bed and sleep. I think I'll wait one more night to sleep so we can have two long beginning days to get some good progress done. Since, I mean, nothing can spawn anyway, since the island is really small, I might as well wait. All right, so I'm just gonna get back to mining now. All right, some zombies spawned, and it worked just as designed. I don't think these zombies actually break the blocks around the one block yet, though. I think that's only something called a monster party, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, I can test it if I just do this. Okay, well, I'm back to breaking blocks, I guess. And I have this wood here to test to see if normal monster spawns break blocks around the block, since I am pretty curious. If anyone's confused what I'm talking about, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. It's just a feature that I remember from last time. Another gift with nothing too useful. Oh my gosh, rabbits spawned. I think I remember them jumping off the cliff for some reason. Was that a bug? And there's some more rabbits. They are cute, but my last ones already all jumped off the cliff. And it looks like these are going to join the same fate as their friends. Don't do a Mr. Bunnies. I will give you some carrots if I had them. Maybe I will make some jump potions out of you if you stay. I think the bunnies just want to hop in the void since it's better down there. They probably have wings or something that we don't know about. Ooh, a variety chest. We got stringing seeds. I don't know if that's helpful, but... Oh my gosh. Dude. Did you guys see that? I wasn't even near him. That was so laggy and glitched. Maybe it's lagged on purpose so you don't die. Either way, that is really scary. And I didn't even know creepers could spawn. I forgot about that. So I'm going to be very careful now. I wonder how far to the next phase. I don't know if I'm close or super far away or something. I should not stand here. This is a really dumb idea. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that. And I'm going to craft some new tools or a new shovel since I have another pickaxe already. All right, there we go. Just gonna get back to mining now and eat some mushrooms too since I need some. Another creeper and he exploded by himself again. I think that must just be a feature of the creeper on this map because that's pretty weird behavior. It seems like they're waiting a second till they explode, but maybe I'm wrong and I don't know. I feel the next phase coming soon. Ooh, there's a mushroom cow and it's turning day, so. Okay, come on, mushroom cow. You have to go join your mushroom friends. Ooh, we already have two mushroom cows too. But mushroom cows are so awesome that I don't mind to get another. They're so cute. They have mushrooms growing on them. But get back. You don't get hurt if you're stuck in the fence. I'm sorry. You might get a splinter. Maybe. I'm not sure if cows can get splinters in Minecraft. But if they could, I saved them. Ooh, a spruce sapling. I really like spruce wood. I think a lot of people do. But I mean, it does look good, so... 
who's disagreeing with them. Hopefully we get another source of water. That'd be nice. Then we could get an infinite water source. For now, I'm just gonna try and make it through this phase though, because it seems like it's taking a while. Another zombie, but I think I can deal with him. I also made this roof. I don't know, so we have some cover in case there's ever a meteor shower or something. A spider, but spiders don't even attack you, I don't think. I forget how spiders work, but they're definitely a weird mob. Like weird in the way that they work. They're pretty cool. All right, the creeper did not explode. I just have to be careful. Oh no. All right, there we go. Creeper defeated. Ooh, I got another gift, which has an empty map. Ooh, nice. Maybe it's if you want to keep what your island looks like. That's actually cooled out in a chest. Maybe that's why. Either way though. Ooh, it's the next stage. I forget what I was going to say. Maybe we eat some mushrooms too while we wait. Those two rabbits are just looking at me. Maybe they want some food too. I don't think they eat mushrooms too, unfortunately. Well, at least I tried. All right, eight seconds left. What will the phase be? I see tundra. Hmm, lots of snow. Maybe I can make a snowman or something. I have a lot of stuff in my chest already. It's not really my fault. The block gives you so many random items. Ooh, that sheep is really close to the void. They're not even, look, they have like one pixel. No, they don't even have a foot on anymore. They're floating. Maybe we get some more iron in this phase. I kind of forget. Looks like we get some spruce wood. Ooh, and dark oak. Oh no, a wolf spawned. Not just any wolf, an angry wolf. Ooh, another chest. I really like this effect too. It looks like swamp ghost effect. It looks really nice. Oh, okay. Wolf, do not eat my sheep, please. Maybe I have to push this wolf off the cliff. I feel really bad, but he's gonna eat my sheep if he gets the chance. No, okay. Everyone look away. I'm sorry, wolf. You can't eat my sheep, I'm sorry. I love my sheep. I count them when I go to sleep. I'm also gonna refresh all three of my tools since they're all about to break. There we go. Those should last us a couple hundred blocks. I'm back to mining. Okay, we got some skeletons. Maybe they can drop me some bones. Ooh, okay. Now if another wolf spawns, I can tame him and he won't eat the sheep. If only I kept the wolf, I could have tamed him. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown him off the cliff. Well, there's a gold block now, so it seems like I have to get an iron pickaxe because I can't break gold with a stone. And it takes way too long either way, even if I could. We'll just fit the furnace right behind the chest and start melting some of the iron we've got. It looks like we don't have any iron laying around, so that is all we have, the 18, which is a good amount. Oh yeah, we can't break the block yet. I guess I have to wait for a couple of iron to smelt. In the meantime, I can refill my food and maybe organize the chest a tiny bit. All right, I can make an iron pickaxe now and I can break that gold block. So I can keep on mining and find the next phase of the lucky block. Or maybe just get some cool blocks to do something with. Oh, I got some foxes. That's cute. But I think they have no use in Minecraft. Ooh, sorry about that. Can you guys get out somehow? I promise I didn't mean to do that. Poor little wolves. They were really cute. There was like a snow fox. Not wolf. Oops. Ooh, okay. There's another wolf. I just like, gotta get my bones. Will you take one of three bones? Really? Okay, well, I guess I'll keep mining. <laughs> maybe I can get more. All right. Um... This is kind of a problem. I just got a literal polar bear. I don't remember that being a thing when I played last time. <laughs> I must just not be remembering it. So I guess we have to make another pen over here because I'm not paying the polar bear in the other one. All right, that should be big enough. Now we just do this on both sides. Whoops, messed that one up a little bit, but I can fix it real quick. And then I place a couple more blocks like that. And then we just need some fence gates, which I can probably find in the chest because I think, yeah, I made three extra. All right, one, two, and three. And then the polar bear can go in. I might make like a animal sanctuary for all these guys later. I think that'd be a really cool idea and something fun since it doesn't take really good building skills. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them over there since I need to spend my time collecting more blocks and progressing through the phases of the lucky block or the one block i mean <laughs> all right i got two more skeletons no the wolf just no oh my gosh what is wrong with you wolf i knew i shouldn't have let him on the island oh my gosh no did you guys see that jump that was crazy oh my that was actually nuts so i guess we don't have any sheep again yeah i don't know what to do Hopefully more sheep spawn. And if they don't, I guess it's okay. But I guess I'll place this here now to prevent any future incidents. That really does suck. I guess I just have to keep mining and hope another sheep spawns. Some more bones. That could have helped me tame the dog. Okay, we have another wolf. Okay, he actually took the bone. Nice. And we have one extra. Well, maybe you can make up for what your past wolf friend did. You need to protect the sheep, dog. And I will name you Butterscotch. I think I will name this dog... Hmm, what should I name him? 
Well, I give him white collar, but I still don't know why I'm gonna name him. Ooh, a monster party. Okay, I, uh, my game lagged for a second. They're just jumping in the void. That's kind of anticlimactic. If that's how you say that word, probably not, but I tried my best. Okay, I'm actually about to perish. Yeah, fight each other. Ooh, get him. Another skeleton has spawned, which will give me some free bones. Maybe I can save them to plant some seeds. A couple of foxes spawned, but like I said before, I think they are useless. But I'll let them roam around the island. Ooh, there's an angry wolf. I might use the bones for him instead. Okay, I only took one. So now I have two wolves, because now I can breed them if I want to. I probably won't, but there's always a chance or the opportunity. Two more skeletons spawned. Hopefully my wolf doesn't knock them off the cliff. Well, I lost out on a bone, but that's all right. Maybe I can make my wolves sit. I'm not sure if they get up if I get attacked. I think they do. Another skeleton. Zero bones though. That's not very nice. All right, there we go. Nine bones total. I'm building up a good source of bone meal. There's lots of bone meal in this chest I just got too, and two golden ingots. All of my tools are about to break. Well, there goes one, and the other one is about to go too. I think I'll go ahead and make some iron tools so we can get through the block a little bit faster that way. So I'll make an iron axe for now and an iron shovel. And we'll put these snowballs away because they fill up the inventory really well in a bad way. Ooh, a chest with two dark oak saplings and lots of bones. And it looks like I finally got the block to upgrade. So in 40 seconds, we're going to the fourth stage, I think it is, but I might be wrong on that. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and it is the ocean phase. All right, so I like that. I can get some sand that will come in handy most likely. Ooh, and some prismarine. Ooh, a turtle spawned. I don't know if turtles need water but if they do then rest in peace i guess i feel like you can sneak underneath this uh, i guess i'll just let him stay there Ooh, a diamond well i have to mine it well there's a squid but that's kind of awful i don't really have water yeah i don't know i can't really move them well anyways Ooh, there's some ocean zombies I probably won't get a trident. I'd have to be pretty lucky for that. And my inventory is full again. There's so much trash in this block. Yeah, some guardians just spawned and they leaped off the cliff just like I planned. So I guess it's a good thing I made these rails open. If I didn't, I think I'd have to like fight them and they'd be shooting me through these walls. It'd be really bad. I probably would have died. And there goes another guardian. Ooh, the elder guardian spawned, which is actually really dangerous. All right, there we go. Goodbye, elder guardian. I'm glad that I did not die though. Back to mining the block. All right, I am really close to dying right now. This pufferfish really messed me up, but it does look like I'm gonna be okay since I think they drowned. And now I've got some food and I'm healing slowly. But that was definitely scary. Pufferfish or little ninjas? Oh, a monster party is spawning. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Maybe just wait for everyone to jump off the map. I'm in a very bad position right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and hit them off. Oh. I got jumped off by himself. I should probably get these slabs back. And it looks like these guys are kind of just frozen. So I can just defeat them, I guess. They don't really attack back for some reason. That's really weird. I don't know why they don't attack back. Maybe there's something glitched. Or maybe it's for it's not difficult or super difficult. Because I don't know if I'd be able to beat those guys with only my leather pants and iron helmet. A couple of pufferfish seem to have returned. Okay. I'm really low. I'll just let them drown because they do a lot of damage. All right, there we go. I can get back to mining once again. And my two turtles are still hanging out with me. A couple of more guardians. That's kind of just what has been happening lately. Lots of mining the block progress and lots of getting the mobs down into the void. But once I get through maybe this phase or another phase, I can start expanding the island since I'll have a lot more materials. I only have one water bucket still, I think. So I'm kind of limited on a lot of stuff I can do. But yeah, once I have the materials, I will start building the line, which I think will hopefully look cool. I'm not sure what I should build closest to the block though. Should the animal areas be really close to the block or at the very back? If I want them at the back, that will include moving them, which is pretty boring and hard, but it might look better that way, so I'll figure it out. I wonder why they jump off the map. Maybe because we're supposed to be in water, so the pathing just kind of breaks. I don't know. That's interesting, though, why all the sea creatures just leap into the void. I guess the rabbits also leap into the void, so I'm not sure why they do that. Okay, I think I will expand this grass just a tiny bit. All right, and just like that, the grass area is a bit bigger. I'm just going to probably add two more blocks to the back for it's more square. And we could plant some trees now since there's more room. All right, that looks a lot better than before, that's for sure. And we'll chop down this tree and hopefully get some saplings. I have one sapling in the chest, so I'll go ahead and plant that. And I'm probably going to expand by two more blocks just so we have room to plant the saplings. I might not know what I want to do with this area yet, but 
Worst case scenario, I'm just going to have to break these middle grass blocks. Because I think for the big line I'm building, there will be grass on both sides for a while. Maybe with some trees and grass and stuff, just even if the animals run up here. If that makes any sense. If that doesn't make sense, just wait. I'm going to build it soon. But for now, back to mining the block. And the turtles seem like they want to mine it too. But it's my block. You guys cannot mine it. Ooh, I just got a benevolent gift with two water buckets. Okay, that's awesome. And a trident. Oh, wait. It's upgrading now. And the turtle is in the block. Okay, well, we do have two fish in these buckets too. Too, so I'm not sure if I should place them yet. I should probably build a little area to place them while the block upgrades just like this and we'll place the water and there we go. Now we have two water buckets and I'll go ahead and place one more water here to save us. So now we have another safety net that goes all the way down to the void. Wait, is this water not going down to the void? Oh my gosh, that means if I fell, I would have died possibly. There we go. Let's fix that. The block is upgrading. Jungle dungeon. That sounds pretty cool. Why won't this slab work? All right. I fixed the water so we have another spot to fall down if we ever fall. And I'm going to start mining the jungle dungeon phase, which will hopefully give us some more useful things. I think I'll go ahead and place some water right here too. There we go. Now we definitely will not die if we fall. Well, it's definitely possible still, but hopefully not at least. Ooh, some parrots. Parrots are really cool mobs. So maybe I can try and feed them some seeds. Okay, he just stole every single one of my seeds. Oh my gosh, there's a Vex. That's really dangerous. Vex do so much damage, so I gotta be really careful. I'm surprised that Vex are even in the one block this early. All right, looks like one of them are flying away, so see ya, buddy. He is obviously scared of me. Maybe I should take a screenshot with him. There we go, I got the screenshot. There was just this variety chest, and there was a lead in it, so that is really awesome, because that means we can lead some mobs and move them around, which will help us a lot, since moving mobs is already so hard. Oh my gosh, a panda bear. All right, let's get the panda bear with the polar bear i hope they don't fight and if they do then whoever wins is the winner i'm joking i will try to stop them i don't know if it'd be successful but i would try i promise Ooh, i got a big tree that's kind of annoying a witch what the heck maybe i should keep the witch okay this is not going good and my mushroom cow escaped all right that was really close everybody get back in and you too mushroom cow oh yeah i can use my new lead i got there we go yeah that's really helpful i'm glad that they gave us that in the lucky chest or that one block chest all right i got a creeper spawn egg i'm not sure what that will be useful for but thank you i guess Okay, I have way too many chests, so I decided I'm going to have a chest chest, and the chest chest will be right here with all the chests in it. And I also need an upgrade to my chest system because it's already full again, so we will add one right here. And I also got a bunch of saplings, which is awesome because I want to get more wood. Alright, I got a literal horse. That is pretty awesome. So let's make sure to trap it with our other mobs. This is the big mob pen. All of the awesome strong mobs go here. Even more parrots just spawn, so there's like six now. Which I actually really like because they're really colorful and it makes everything look a lot better. So I'm glad that the parrots are sticking around. I think I'm going to go ahead and plant some wheat because I want to be able to breed these cows soon. So first I need to get some seeds since I used all of them on the parrots. And then I can bone meal the seed. And there we go, I got more. We don't have that many bones, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this a lot. I'm just going to get enough to plant every single seed here. All right, there we go. That is good enough for now. And I have four wheat, so let's give it to the mushroom cows. And I guess I lost a cow at some point, so I'll just keep these wheat. A couple of Vex spawned. I have these boats ready for them, and it's been working pretty well. Oops, I just broke the boat by accident. It's not working so well anymore. Oh, well, there's one of them. I gotta go heal, though. A chest with another book and quill and some items. Nice. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and plant my single sugar cane so I could make some more maps. Just in case the block doesn't give us more. Because I think it'd be really cool to keep progress of the island. This is the first screenshot we have. Wait, never mind. I think the map updates automatically so how do you get a map to save with like i don't know how it works oh it's just by chunk i think i don't know if you can save a map image from before well i guess i won't be doing that then but that would have been cool i'm not sure how you do that maybe i'll look it up I don't know if it's possible. I just got three more sugar canes, so I might as well plant them here. Probably gonna place this water like this. There we go. And we'll place some sapling. Actually, that's probably too close. Place one sapling here. And I'll chop down these two trees, because why not? I just got another horse from the block. So now we have two horses in there, a panda and a polar bear. It's getting pretty packed. Okay, I just got two more horses. I don't know if you know if they're gonna fit in here, but I'll try it. All right, there's one. 
Hopefully nobody runs out. No, don't leave. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna fit all of them. No, I'm not. Hey, right, come on, horse, get in there. Yeah, I don't think there's any room. There's actually room in there for all of them, but if I get any more mobs, they're not gonna fit. Or if I open it, one of them are probably gonna shoot out. A chest with two diamonds and a sapling and some more bamboo. That's pretty nice. Ooh, and it's actually upgrading now. I did not expect that, but I can plant some more bamboo over here. I'm not sure what day it is, but I think we're getting pretty close to day 10, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this tree while I wait for the block to upgrade too, because we're gonna need a lot of wood later on, and I might as well get a good head start. I can probably also get a sapling to replant this thing immediately, while I actually just fell in the void while trying to get a sapling, so... Good thing I put this water here. I gotta get all the way back up. I think the block's about to upgrade. I'm gonna miss it. So let me place this sapling. No, it upgraded without me. It was the red desert. Well, I might as well just get to mining then. Sand is always welcome on this island. We love sand. And my chest chest is looking better than ever. After all this stuff grows, I might expand the island a little bit more. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Maybe I can start expanding a little bit. Okay, I just found the void again. Um, yeah, let's not talk about it. That was extremely close. I thought I just died. Okay, from now on, I'm gonna pay way more attention. Sometimes, you know, you just don't really pay attention to what you're doing. You're just like on autopilot. And now I'm gonna stop, okay? That was an accident that I will not make again. I'm gonna expand this bridge right here for now because can't pick that up? I can. I'll slowly remove these grass blocks too. But for now, I'll probably just leave most of them. I don't know what I'm expanding to or why I'm expanding, but I would want the island to take more of a shape because we're almost at day 10, I think. Or maybe we're two days away, but that's 10% done. So I think it's time for some nice building action. I think we're actually have enough wood for that though. So I guess I'll have to plant more trees. All right, I'm gonna get some dirt and some saplings and I'm gonna plant some more trees and place some more grass. All right, so I can place a couple saplings here for now, which will be good enough. I don't know how much dirt we have. Can you get more dirt? I think you can. For now, I'm gonna save all of the dirt I have though, because I think you can duplicate dirt with a special method with gravel. So yeah, I won't use any more dirt until I know how to do that probably. I can also harvest a couple of bamboo, but what does bamboo make? Sticks? Okay, I don't know if bamboo is useful, but it looks good, so. The pigs like it too. All right, I got two llamas from the block, so I think it's probably time to upgrade the size of this pen. So just like that, I'm gonna upgrade it by about four blocks, I think. And then we break in, let all the animals through. Well, actually I should break the bottom ones first. All right, everyone move to the back, maybe. All right, there we go. I think everyone is probably towards the back now. And then we can open these gates and get the new llamas in. Welcome to your new home. Okay, they were, these animals will have a way better home later. It's just that I don't really have the space right now. But yeah, I know how bad this home actually is. It's just wait, what the heck? Llama, get back here. Who told you you could leave? Um, chill, bro. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. There's way too many animals in there. Let me put the lead back in some of these blocks I just got. Also, it would probably be a good idea to eat some food because I really need some. <laughs> Maybe I can breed the cows again. I can. Excuse me. Oh, look, the ocelot and the parrot over here hanging out. That's kind of cute. Maybe they're talking, whispering something to each other. Sorry, guys, I was not listening. I was listening, but nobody tell them. Anyways, it's back to breaking the block. All right, everybody, don't panic. The villagers have arrived. So we really need to move this guy somewhere special. I'm not sure where yet, but I need to move him. Okay, I'm just gonna think about what I should do for a second, because, yeah, I'm not sure. Please don't be in the boat, cow. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Now I just gotta move this villager, and I'll build a little bit of a platform here. I'm already out of slabs, so I'm gonna have to go get some more. Or maybe I just light this place up. I'm gonna need some more torches, just to be sure. And then I will build a little wall here, so no mobs can get over. And I'll just grab a couple of coal and make some more torches. I'll place torches all over this mini island, actually, because that's smart to do. All right, there we go. Our villager should be safe. And I will leave the villager there until later, because I think I'm actually out of oak wood. Well, no, I have 20. I have 31 slabs. Okay, I'll use those, then I'll stop. Another monster party. Hopefully, I make it through this one. Yeah, if I didn't make this fence, I think I would have been dead by now. It really saves you. My tools are about to break, though. My axe. Oh, there it goes. Gotta make another one now. And I'll go ahead and make another pickaxe, too. And I can get back to hitting these mobs. Okay, one of them hit me through the block. Let me eat some food. All right, this is gonna take me a long time. 
Okay, I think that's everybody. And I also have got an upgrade to my pants and a repair for my helmet. I can also melt this five extra iron that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and build me some more wheat before I can breed the mushroom cows. Also, oh, why are all my mushroom cows so lost? Get over here, mushroom cow. What are you doing? Oh no, don't get hit off the map. Come on over here. And then I'll breed these two again. And then this guy's just stuck over here. So I'll just leave him, I guess. And I'll replant these seeds because wheat is always a good thing to have. And I'm back to mining the block. My pickaxe is about to break too so, but i did make another one and there's an enemy okay surprise attack and the chest has pretty useless items i mean a refresh on two bones that's good another villager villagers are annoying to move but it's really important so i'm gonna have to spend some time doing this all right i'm moving the villager with a boat and this cow got in the way actually which is really annoying dude are you serious can you move why are there two cows right here dude come on <laughs> this is so dumb why are all three okay whatever i don't care okay don't fall off the map what the heck am i doing dude what are all the cows doing okay no i have to stop them i need to go get a piece of wheat and lure them okay i'll bring all the cows back over okay one of them fell off the cliff are you joking wait did two of them fall off the cliff dude what the heck is wrong with the cows all right, I also got a villager spawn egg. I wonder if we go to the nether and if we find a blaze spawner, if I could click it with this egg to turn it into a different spawner. I should try that later. I hope that it works. And then I could literally have an vill infinite villager spawner and an infinite creeper spawner. But I doubt that works, but I guess I'll find out. There's been a lot of husks spawning. I wish they dropped something useful. They just kind of give you hunger and drop some rotten flesh. But we're almost to the next day, so that's pretty good. I've just been mining the block, grinding all these things out. And soon we're going to start expanding the island even more. But yeah, I need to collect some wood. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet still. I really need to keep thinking about it. I know the vision, but I don't know where to start with it. So I'm going to start thinking about that. It's upgrading again already. So I'm making a lot of progress pretty fast. But I might be going too fast. So maybe it's time to start building the island now. There's 40 seconds left until upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and chop down this tree. And we're going to plant some more saplings since they're pretty important but i gotta go back to block now because it's about to upgrade all right three seconds left what is the next phase i don't actually know what it is the nether is the next phase okay i was just gonna say i wonder when i'm gonna get obsidian because i want to go to the nether because it'll unlock a bunch of blocks and stuff but I guess now is the time, so I'm probably going to need a diamond pickaxe because I assume it's going to spawn obsidian. Then I'm going to also make a stone pickaxe to mine the netherrack because we don't have infinite iron yet. And I feel like it'd be a waste to use iron since stone is really fast. Once I get obsidian for a portal, I'm probably going to stop mining the block for a while and start building because I think I can duplicate dirt if I find some piglins. The llama has to get out of the way because we're going to have to fight some enemies soon, I bet. And it seems like I got my first ancient debris. It takes a while to break even with a diamond pickaxe. Who and my first obsidian. I just need nine more after this, I think. I also just got a turtle spawning from a chest, which is pretty interesting. I don't think that will come in very useful ever. A hoglin has spawned. Good thing I have this fence to hide behind, because he does a lot of damage. Oh no, Blaze has spawned. Okay, this is really bad. Oops. Sorry, llama. Okay, I finally fixed all of the damage. And I don't have an island anymore. I guess I have to rebuild it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I think the middle is just like this. Okay, that should be done now. I have to do the sides too. I should probably use a different block than wood. I'm not sure what else I have though. I'm also gonna have to make some more fence gates. And I'll place them back right here. And I guess it's fixed for now. All right, I placed a bit of cobblestone. And I'm gonna keep mining the block for obsidian. Actually, I think it might be smart to make this at least center platform out of cobble. I need a new iron axe though, oops. I think I'll make an iron chest plate too for some extra protection. And I'll keep replacing this floor. Um, what the heck? I don't think this guy's aggressive, so I'll just push him over here and he can stay. Seems like he's cold or something. I got a lava bucket, so I could make a cobblestone generator, but I think that'd be pretty useless right now. So I'm just gonna keep mining. I'm also gonna trap the mushroom cow and mushroom in here because they keep pushing each other off the cliff, I think. So I'm gonna have to make them a spot where they can't do that. Now I can actually start building up multiple mushrooms. Good thing I have two still though, and they don't all didn't fall off a cliff and i'm not sure what to do with the villagers maybe i'll just leave that for later i'm gonna chop down this tree and i'll probably make a spot for this single cow too can i breed the cow with the other cow let's see no i can't so i might as well just let the cow be out here alone and i also got some gold boots now for protection and the piglins will hit me if i have them on I can also replace this fence gate since it disappeared somehow. I'm not sure how. Another obsidian spawn, but I still only have three. So this is going to keep taking a while. 
I wish it would go a little bit faster because I really want to go to the nether, but I went ahead and made a bow since two more gas just spawned and they were pretty hard to kill. They didn't really destroy anything though. I did deflect the fireballs pretty fast, but still like those things are really annoying and I got to replace this wall. So let me get my slabs and I will fix this. Another netherite block. That's my second one, I think. Ooh, a third one. But my pickaxe and shovel are both about to break, so I'm going to have to make some more of those. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. There goes my pickaxe. A monster party is spawning, and this one's probably going to be pretty difficult. Oh, no. Okay, I got the ghast. Oh, my gosh. Good thing the piglins don't want to attack me. What is even happening? Okay, I got to eat some food. If the mobs actually attacked me, I would be so dead. Well, all the mobs are gone, and all the fire is gone now, too. My helmet did end up breaking, I guess. I think I need some more cobblestone slabs. This chest had a free wither skull in it. That'll come in handy if I want to spawn a wither later. I still only have three obsidian, so it's taking a while to get ten. A fourth obsidian did spawn though, so almost halfway, I guess. Another obsidian already, so yeah, we're halfway there. That was only like three blocks after, so maybe we'll get it. Obsidian might start spawning a lot sooner. Ooh, a wither skeleton. And another obsidian already again. Hopefully we just get four more after this. Obsidian piece number seven is here. Only three more left to go. I just got a second wither skull, so if I get one more, I can spawn a wither, I guess. Both of my mushroom cows grew up, so I'm gonna use some bone meal and get some wheat so that I can breed them and get some more mushroom cows. And I'll just put this stuff in this chest for now so it's easy to find. I used a lava bucket, so I'm about to get a last piece of obsidian and then I'm gonna build the portal. All right, now I need a flint and steel and I'll go ahead and make a gold helmet as well. And then I'm gonna build the portal down here. Something like this will be fine. We'll make it back to it. We'll place the corner pieces. And there we go. Now I just gotta light the portal. And I'll collect some resources so I'm ready to go tomorrow. I'm gonna fill up four more bowls of mushroom stew. And now I think I should be ready to go. Oh yeah, I can also make a shield to protect myself a little bit better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. I guess I'm just gonna mine some quartz and search for the bastion or fortress. Because I don't know where they are and XP is always a good thing. I do already have level 30 though, so maybe I should just explore. Alright, it looks like I already found a fortress. I have to be a little bit careful. I do already have some gold with me. Piglins do a lot of damage. I'll get one hit killed if I get too close to one of them. Yeah, and these guys just get automatically mad at you. Okay, that was really close. But I can bridge over here. That should be fine. Then I'll get this guy. Or all of them, I guess. Alright, a sword. That's not very good. I do get a lot of arrows though, and some chains. All right, I got a better sword Ooh, and a crossbow and a lot more arrows. Some bone blocks and obsidian are good too. I'm going to try and get this chest, but I have to get these guys first. Okay, that guy takes a lot of hits. Ooh, more obsidian and an ancient debris and another red scrap. Oh, lots of golden carrots. That's a good food source and an iron block. Maybe this piglin will give me some gravel. That's kind of what I'm looking for, I think, for some more dirt. So let's just let him trade all of the gold while we go explore. And I know where the gold is because I learned all the bastions at one point. So this bastion, all the gold is right here, or most of it at least. I think I missed a couple over here too. Yeah, there we go, one more. Ooh, two more. So we got nine gold blocks. I have to go find that piglin that I was trading with again now. Well, after I'm done trading with this guy, I think I'm good to go. I was hoping for a little bit more than 40 through gravel, but it's good enough for now. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and head back home now because I got everything that I need or wanted. I can also stop and get some bones on my way back because I can use them for bone meal. These blocks are really useful for planting and farming crops. Now that I'm home, I think it's time I clean up the island a little bit because it's getting really messy. And I think I can see how I can craft more dirt. Can't find my dirt though. Okay, there we go, I found it. And now I just have to go on the crafting table to recipes that I can craft and I find it. Yeah, I guess you can't duplicate dirt in this version. Maybe it's a later version or something. Yeah, I don't know how it works. I'm just gonna place a chest here for now because my inventory is really full of a bunch of stuff I don't need. So let me put all of it away like this. Then I can get back to building. I need to pick these fish up into these buckets so I can keep them. And then I have to mine all this stuff and I will keep building the path. I also think I should change this wood to stone slabs instead because wood can burn and it's ugly. I'm also gonna melt some cobblestone so I can get some actual stone and maybe some stone brick. But for now, I'll place the andesite that I have just like that. And then I have to break all of this too. And I think I'll go only this far for now since all, both the villagers are in boats right here and I can't really go past them yet. So I will just build around them and keep breaking the wood. 
some of this tone is ready too so i'll go ahead and place that in all these open spaces and yeah that looks pretty good so far let's break all the bamboo for now and i'll keep it in this chest i also just decided on a design for the like i don't know what you would call this but the outline of the bridge but i'm gonna need a lot more logs to be able to do it i think i can actually probably breed these cows again too so let's start doing that and i'll use up the rest of the logs i have then i'll bone mill some trees number two Okay, I was hoping it wouldn't be big and it wasn't because those trees are really hard to break and they took a lot of time. Tree number three, a little bigger, but not huge, which is still a good. And now I'm out of bone meal. Actually, no, I have a bunch of bones. Oh yeah, 43 bone blocks. All right, I have infinite bone meal basically. Oh, that's gonna be a big tree. I should plant it somewhere else. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for the leaves to disappear. But I got 16 logs, so I'll go ahead and place those. I just need a couple more to finish the bridge all the way up to this point. And I'll go ahead and take the limited dirt I have and begin placing it to expand the island a little bit. I should also plant sugarcane right here, so all of it is filled up to the maximum capacity near that water. And I will keep placing grass. I'm gonna make it four wide. I might make it bigger later, but for now it's gonna be four wide. I need to place some water and go down like that. And then I'll place that block. I will steal my water back. Actually, let's place it there for safety. And now I need to go get some more trees. Looks like I have enough space. And then I use those logs I just got and I finish off. Well, I actually have to do this side too, I guess. So let me do that real quick. I'll also go ahead and plant the bamboo here, because why not? I think I could actually make it five wide, so one more dirt on each side and then I'll be done. Ooh, actually, I have to break these five blocks and place wood here. And I need to do a row of dirt on this side. These blocks will also be getting removed, so I start like right here. Okay, perfect. I'm also gonna craft a bunch of fence gates. Let's just do 14 for now, it's fine. And let's replace these two fence with fence gates for it's easier to get through for everybody. And we can leave them open for now. I still need a bunch of wood, so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop down trees for a bit. All right, I cut down a bunch of trees and I managed to get to 42 logs, so I'm just gonna keep expanding the perimeter. I have to put some water down to be able to do this part. And there we go. And I will start building this side too. All right, I kept mine yesterday and I should have enough wood to finish the second half of the perimeter or whatever you would call it. Perimeter is not that good of a word to use. Just the outline fence. But yeah, it's done now. I just need to keep collecting wood though because I need to build the actual fence. I think I'll have every single one of these blocks be a fence gate so it's easy to enter. Yeah, I need a lot more still. So I will continue breaking trees. I found like 10 fence so I'm gonna go ahead and place it around here just where you can see what it looks like. Yeah, I think this place looked pretty good once it's finished. I do need a lot more wood though. I need to decide what I'm gonna do with this villager area. I guess I could start trying to build the villager area right here. Maybe I should use a different type of log. I'm gonna go see what I have. Actually, I'm just gonna use oak. I think I'll just make a couple of five by five rooms for them. All right, I think we're gonna take a break because I need to build a villager breeder since it takes a lot of time to work and Villagers are going to be really important, so I might as well get started on it. I'm just going to go ahead and build another one of these 5x5 five five boxes, I think. And I'll build the breeder in it, probably. And then I just finish the circle, or the square, I mean. Oops. Then I'll build a path for the villagers can get here, too. And I'll finish the outline. All right, now I need to actually build the breeder, which will be like... Well, I need to go get my glass first. If I want to breed villagers, I'm also going to need food for them. So I'm going to go ahead and make the farm over here. So I'm going to have to place these blocks so that I can have water. Just a couple more blocks left and this part will already be done. And then I need to get some more water from this source and make sure all of them are source blocks. I need to hold all of these blocks and turn them into... I actually forget what it's called, but... And I think I will go up to here for now. I'll just leave the sugar cane growing. I have over a stack of seeds, which should be enough. Then I just plant them on every one of these blocks. I also should probably place some temporary lighting. The first thing I'm going to do is build the glass portion of it, which I think is three blocks high. I had to place some slabs and then I placed the beds on top of the slabs. And then I need a fence. The fence goes in the middle. And actually I need some trap doors too, so I should make another workbench. Then I place four trap doors aimed at the middle. And then I need just a little bit of carpet on the corners. 
And I think that should be it. Then I break these two and the breeder is already done. So now for the tricky part, I have to move all of the villagers. Before I do that, I'm going to have to make some fence and make sure that the villagers cannot escape anywhere. So I'll just go ahead and place all the fence in this place. And I should probably finish this area too. And for now, I will fence all of this in, which will be removed later. And I should probably also do this and these. All right, this is looking pretty villager proofed. Then I'll place the gates right here. All right, yeah, everything should be good now. I also have to make a staircase up that the villagers can go on. And that should be good. I just have to break the boats now without hitting the villagers. I have to just wait for them to go up now, I guess. I think I can lure them up with a bed. I don't know how it works. Maybe I can make some minecart rails and push them up. That's usually what I do. If I wait, I bet they'll just go up there. So maybe I should just go do something else. I don't think the villager can go in the car. Oh, yeah, there we go. The first villager is going up. Then maybe I can break that. Oh my gosh, why does the villager jump off like that? I'm just gonna have to wait and hope they go up there by themselves. All right, I have a second attempt. So maybe I should break this rail. Do this and just break the cart. And then I can push Brenda into the middle. Okay, that actually worked. Just one more villager now. Okay, come on, Lewis. Well, Lewis won't get in and just accidentally whacked him, so... Okay, Lewis has gone into the minecart. This is my chance. I just have to get him all the way up, and then both the villagers are ready. All right, now I break this again, and then carefully break the minecart. All right, I just realized this is impossible to get him in because it's too small. So I will need to get him up here. Okay, this is really complicated. Come on, Lewis, get up here. Um, What the heck is Lewis doing? Ooh, the other villager went to bed. Okay, he doesn't want to get in the minecart. You know, he's literally in it. No, a parrot went into it. Wait, is he just going to go in the bed by himself? Okay, yeah, he did go in the bed. Hopefully, they actually can't go on these slabs. That would be really bad. I'll just hope that they can't. Okay, it took me a full day, but the villager breeder should be done. All right, I think it's day 21, and there's two wandering traders on my island now. The original and a second one. He has some podzols, so I'm going to trade for only three. And I wonder if I can break it and get more dirt okay i can so i guess there's is gonna be a way to get dirt in the future if i really need it and i'll buy a vine for i can plant it and always get more of them and i'll buy one red mushroom because why not the first thing i have to do is get some wheat for i can make bread because the villagers need to start breeding because i need a lot of villagers for trading but it takes time so yeah i'm gonna have to get bread to start the process this is a lot of wheat to bone meal i'm probably gonna have to go back to the nether get some more blocks at some point if i keep having to Get lots of bread. All right, I can make 11 bread, which is kind of underwhelming, I guess. And I will stack up and I will throw it to the villagers. All right, I'm just going to put it in a bunch of different spots and hope that works. All right, I'm in the nether and I'm going to collect some more bone blocks before I can get a bunch of bread because 11 bread is not going to be enough. All right, I've been collecting bone blocks and I have one stack almost. I have over two stacks of bone blocks now, so after I get these, I'm going to go find the portal. I'm going to see what's in this chest first, though, and I can steal the gold blocks. The chest has a mending axe, two obsidian, and two extra gold blocks. All right, now I just have to find my way back to the portal. All right, I'm back at the base. Oh my gosh, there's a llama stuck in a tree. Dude, what the heck? The first thing I'm going to do today is get a bunch of bread. I harvested the wheat a bunch of times and I have 41 bread. So I hope this is enough. I'm just going to give it all to the villagers. All right, well, it seems like they picked most of it up. Oh, they picked all of it up. Okay, hopefully it's enough. Okay, yes, it was enough. I just have to keep harvesting bread now. We have our first new villager. Yep, there he is. Okay, so we know the villager breeder works, which is good. I think I'm just going to go ahead and plant a bunch of trees now. I have a little bit over a stack of wood now, which should be enough to start building the fenced-in areas near the grass. I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of fence gates, and we have some fence too. So what my plan was is to have all the animals on this side. And we actually lost a bunch of the animals that we did have. So I don't need that much room anymore, I guess. I can also breed all these mushroom cows again, which is very nice. Hopefully we can have a good source of steak soon. And leather for an enchanting table. Yeah, we have a lot of mobs and not a lot of room. Probably should have made this a little bit bigger, I guess. I'll make the mushrooms like that big, maybe? Five. Actually, we should probably make it seven because there's so many of them. And then we could have a panda here, which would be three. And then we could have the horses and everything else in this one, which will be that big. I don't even know how big that is. And we'll have some fences on the grass right here. There we go. That should be good. Well, I need more fences already, but okay. I have over a stack of fence. That should be enough. So I'll place over right here and behind. Oops, that's the wrong spot. And behind. Oh no, parrot, come back. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't know what the parrot's doing. 
All right, I filled all of that in. And I can also fill in this one back here. And I'll move the torch up on the fence. I'm also going to harvest all the wheat again and plant the seeds back. All right, I cleared out all of this room here. So I'm ready to move the mushroom cows over to the side that they belong on. And then I'll move all of them and just close the gates. All right, there we go. It is a lumber big now too, so they will fit better. Then I just break all these fence that I don't need. And then I think I can hoe all of this land again. And I can probably leave the hole back for sugarcane actually, since I really need sugarcane for an enchanting table and I can always change it later. So then I just plant these like that. And since I really need bread right now, everything else will be seeds. I just need three more dirt and now everything should be fine. And I'll go ahead and get some more bread for I can feed it to the villagers. And then hopefully we can keep getting another villager over and over again. I just finished the fence on this side too. Every three blocks there's a fence post which there will be a torch on for lighting. So it looks pretty good over here and it looks pretty good over here too. I will have to move the other animals but I'm gonna wait to do that because right now the most important thing to do is to get more bread to get more villagers because villagers will let us get diamond tools and diamond armor and a lot of other stuff that we can't get. I think this is like my third time harvesting the whole wheat farm. It's taken a long time, but it's worth it. And I have how much bread total? Okay, 61. That's not the best, but I think I'll harvest it one more time and then just let it grow naturally. All right, I can make some more bread and I have 64 and 18. I also have 30 wheat in this chest, but I'll leave that alone for now. So now it's time to go give it to the villagers and hope they keep reading. Let's throw 18 on this side and 18 on that side. All right, let's throw another 10 or something on both sides. Just trying to make sure the villagers get even amounts. Okay, they can go to bed now. Because, they were, yeah, they're trying to lay down. Maybe tomorrow they will create another villager. Okay, the island is going really, really good. Maybe I can breed the cows again, too. I can. The next thing I'm going to do is probably make the whole island look a lot better. I'm just not sure how to do that yet. To begin, I'll probably break most of these blocks so I can rebuild them. And then the second thing I need to do is make an actual chest room. I think I could have a ladder down to it right here. That seems like a good spot. And then I will have a stone bridge all the way across because it looks really good. I'm just going to break all the wood for now and I will rebuild it. I think I'm also going to fix these blocks here because all of them are outdated. I think I'm going to also fix this. I think I'm going to also fix these slabs because all of them are cobble and wood still. And if I add in some variety, it will look a lot better. All right, there we go. That looks a lot better. And there's also three villagers. I turned down the volume for friendly creatures because the cows are really loud. I should have probably moved them a lot further away because they're pretty annoying, but they're cute. So it's okay. And we also have to move all these donkeys and horses. I'm not looking forward to that. And I have to move all these chests to a chest room, but I haven't built the chest room yet. All right, I went a lot further down with some water. And I'm going to go ahead and start building a little platform that I can use. I will probably just make the chest room somewhere over here like this. And then all the blocks can also be transported down through hoppers or something later on, which will be pretty useful. I will make this five wide. Seems like I'm out of materials for now, so I will probably take a break and do something else because I need more wood. But I don't know if I have a place to grow wood right now because I destroyed it. I could probably make a water elevator right here. So one side's a ladder, then one side <laughs> could be an elevator. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to build that down if I want to do it. So for now, I'll just leave it like this. It kind of works, I guess. Since I'm moving the pandas here eventually, I think I'll plant a couple of bamboo too. Maybe just a couple in the corners. That would probably be good. And I can bone meal it to give it a head start. We could probably also give the horses some. Okay, I'm going to use my single lead and move a donkey. And the donkey can stay right here. Let's just pull him in. Okay. And I have the second donkey already. I got to pull him in. Okay, now we got to get the third. Okay, I moved the donkey. So now I have to move the llamas too. I have three llamas total. There might be too many animals for this single pen. All right, I have the second llama. Llama number three. Oh, well, the polar bear is out the front. So I guess I am moving him first. I got to be careful because I only have one polar bear. The polar bear can go with the panda. Okay, I only have a couple more mobs left to move. Oh my gosh, the panda, you can't pay lead on pandas, I guess. So I'm gonna have to shift push him all the way there. All right, the panda is in the pen too now. Just have a lot of horses. Just come on in. Oops, wrong one. You're with the llamas and the donkeys. All right, I moved every single animal into the new pen, so everything should be good now i can probably destroy this really ugly wood fence that i made earlier now all right i moved all the animals to their pens so now i can destroy this really ugly fence that i built hopefully it doesn't take me too long and i should actually pick all these up because i can recycle them in the chest room that i was building all right i broke that ugly thing but there's another portal below me so i should probably move that at some point but if we ignore that 
The island actually looks really good and the line has started to take its shape. I do need to keep expanding though because there's a lot more things I need to build. I'm not gonna do that right now. I will place some blocks, but for now we'll close off with a fence gate. I think it's probably a good idea to start building the trading stalls since we have villagers now and we're gonna have to start trading with them. I am gonna need to collect more wood unfortunately because I just ran out. I can finish this before I collect more though, which is nice. Just need to place a couple more fence on both sides and a slab. And I can remove all these fence for now too since the villagers are all safe. I'm also gonna slab these. Okay, there we go, we have another one finished. Did I use all my bread on the villagers? I kind of forget, I think I did. Maybe I have to collect more soon already. Since I need wood, I'm gonna go ahead and use these acacia slabs that I have and build a little tree farm down here. And I can always break it later if I want to. All right, now I just have to place all of these acacia slabs, which won't take that long since this platform isn't that big. All right, I placed some blocks where I wanna plant the trees and I got the saplings, so it's time to try and bone meal some trees now. Yeah, there we go. It looks like none of them are obstructed either, which is nice. Now it's time to chop. I finished chopping the trees down, but I'm out of bone meal, so I'm just gonna see if I can get some saplings, and then I will go check if I have any bone meal left. And if I don't, I'm probably gonna go to the nether since I need bread for villagers too. Well, I checked all my chests, and I only have 40 bone blocks left, which is not actually that much. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some more bread and give it to the villagers, and then I might go see if I can collect some more today. Alright, it's not much, but I did get 20 more bread, so I will throw it to the- whoops. So I will throw it to the villagers and hope that they create another villager. Good luck, guys. Actually, there's a lot of villagers in there. Maybe I should move some before I leave. I don't want them to suffocate. That would be really bad. All right, I will move like one or two villagers real quick. And then I think I should be able to surround him like that and then break this. Okay, yeah. Then we just have to, I don't know, push him to here. Okay, there we go. We've already moved one villager. That was really easy. I just need to think of the design. Well, for now, I'll just move the villagers and I'll think of the design after. Let's see if we can get one more. Okay, we did get one more. So let's push him into his spot. Uh, actually, we have to wait for him to grow up. So we'll just leave him there, I guess. I should probably go get a couple of torches because this place is not that lit up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these trees down since I want the saplings to fall and then I can come collect them after I'm done doing some other things. So when I break all the trees, I'll go do something else and come collect all the saplings before they despawn. And wood is gonna be important because I'm gonna use it to get emeralds and I need to use it to keep building. Okay, now I'll come check on these in a minute or two. While I wait for the saplings to drop, I'm gonna go ahead and sort some chests, probably, since it's gonna be pretty hard to remove all of them. I think a good place to start is to remove the stone bowls, since they're so useless anyway. And just like I planned, I have a bunch of saplings that I can replant. And some free apples to eat. It looks like there's a creeper over here. Ooh, and here. Alright, well, I guess I need to place some torches. I'm also going to get my first Fletcher so I can trade sticks for emeralds. Okay, 16 emeralds. I'm out of sticks though. Since I have more wood, I'm also going to finish building all these villager pens or villager trading hall centers, whatever. Because once I finish that, I can start building an iron golem farm too, which is also very important for the progression. I've built one outline and I'm working the second one. I think I'll probably build two more after this just to be safe and to make sure I always have enough space if I ever need more. Actually, I think I'll stop here because I can always go up or under, so... I think this will be the last one for now. And then I just need to fill in all of the ground with the slabs. And I can place some fence on the back. I don't have enough fence for all of them now, but I'll just place the fence on the back since it's the most important probably. And one more floor to fill in before I am done. This villager also grew up so I can break the minecart and then push him into his spot. Then I will place a slab in front of him and break all of these useless blocks. This design will work for now, but I will make it look a lot better later. I'm also moving one more villager, and then this booth is full. I'm just gonna leave the villager there for now, because I don't have an oak slab. And we still have a lot more villagers. We will need a lot for the golem farm, but I'm planning on building an iron golem farm soon, but I found a tutorial and he used blackstone, which I kind of want to use too, because it looks good. So I'm gonna try and collect more, because I think it's from the nether. Actually, it's not from the nether. I think blackstone is from underground, but I think I can probably find a similar block. Never mind, you can get blackstone from the nether, so I'm just gonna go ahead and collect some with my diamond pickaxe. Alright, I got two and a half stacks of blackstone, which is more than enough, and I got over a stack of walls, which is also more than enough. So I'm just gonna head back home now, and tomorrow, probably, I will build the iron golem farm, which will be super useful. Alright, I got back from the nether, and there's a lot of monsters. Hopefully no creepers blow up or anything. I should probably make some torches, so I'm ready to light stuff up. Okay, there's a creeper with the horses. Okay, the creeper's gone. I gotta let this place up now. 
hope that does not happen again. And there's creepers over here with the villagers, I guess. Dude, are you joking? Well, it wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. Well, to build the Iron Golem form, I actually need more strength. So I'm going to have to go back to the nether and get some piglin trades. Well, I found three piglins already right through the portal. So I'm just going to put them all in a hole and trade them the gold that I have. Okay, yeah, I got three of them and I'll give them all the gold. And I guess I'll just mine some more while I wait. All right, I'm going to check and see if I got any string yet. It doesn't look like it. But there could be some buried in there. I'm gonna have to make sure I organize my inventory pretty well here. Because it's gonna fill up pretty fast. Oh, I actually picked up the gold. I gotta give him it back. Well, I got 40 string, which is definitely not enough. So I'm probably gonna go try and find a another bastion if I can. I just had to stop at home and probably repair some of my tools and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and make this villager a toolsmith. If he wants to be, that is. I don't know why it isn't working. Okay, this guy worked. I don't really have emeralds to be able to upgrade them, which is the bad part. Maybe I have some in a chest. I can also use my normal coal since I can always make charcoal. Alright, level 1. Ooh, I'm already not able to do it, I guess, because there's a bell trade. Or iron, and I don't have iron. So, I guess I just have to go find a bastion like this then. And I can bring my shield if I find it. Alright, I'm gonna try to find a bastion now. I'm just probably gonna go over this lava lake and see where that leads me. I have fire resistance potions too, so I could swim through if I need to. It looks like I found another fortress. I just hope it's a good one with lots of good loot. Alright, these piglin brutes are pretty mad at me. But I have a safe place to get all of them right here. I wonder if my bow or my axe does more damage. I think I got all the piglin brutes up here. Hopefully these chests are good. Bone blocks. Not what I'm looking for exactly though. An iron block. Sure, that's pretty good. Soul speed book. And some string. That's kind of why I came here. So now I have to go down into the bastion to get all the loot. Alright, I found this chest. And I know how to get to the gold blocks from here. But I can also loot it. Bunch of free obsidian. Ooh, and a diamond shovel. Nice. Oh my god, be a little bit careful the gold blocks are right behind this piglin protecting them there should be like nine i think and then hopefully the piglins trade all the blocks and they give me a lot of string then i should be good to go back home all right now i'm just gonna try and loot this bastion without getting killed by the piglin brutes which will be pretty tricky especially if that guy starts shooting me i have to kill the piglins with bows i have to kill the piglin brutes all right and then i can drop all my gold I can steal this gold block real quick. I think I'll just trade with piglins near my portal because this place is really dangerous. Actually, I just found two, so I think I'll try these guys. Okay, never mind. All right, I got it figured out. And I got all the piglins into a hole. And I can also give these piglins some gold if I just lure them over here. All right, every piglin into the hole. All right, that's good enough. I think that's like every piglin. And I can eat a golden apple since I ran out of food, I guess. Ooh, this chest has a mending pickaxe. That is really good. And one more gold block to steal. Another piglin brute that I can bow to death. I think that's basically everybody left. Oh, I'll have a stack of string. I think that's enough for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and head back home. All right, I'm back at the base and I got a lot of iron so I can remake my iron axe. I can also make wool for all of the beds that I need. All right, there should be everything that I need to craft it. So I will craft it in one minute. I think I'm going to build down golem farm on this little platform over here since I'm not sure if I should put it over where I was going to originally put it. The only downside is that it's going to be a lot of effort to move the villagers, but I think it'll be worth it. I'm going to go ahead and prepare for the thing that I'm building. So I'll craft some rails and some redstone torches and I will start building the railway. Okay, that should be good. I should probably take a quick break and grow some wheat too so I can feed the cows. And I should harvest all this sugar cane. All of these saplings are ready to pick up, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I really need some more sugar cane, so I'm just gonna put some water here. Okay, this is really scuffed, but it should work. Okay, yeah, and then I have a bunch of sugar cane spots I can use down here for now. And I'll break this once again of sugarcane for the enchanting table. All right, and I can replant all of these saplings too so it can grow on their own naturally with no bone meal. All right, I just logged back on and I see a zombie near my villagers. How did two villagers get out? Oh, they're growing up and it's too small. Okay, how did a zombie spawn? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I gotta get to bed because it is technically the next day. Oh my gosh, there's three... I mean, all these guys can come with us, but for now, they need to stay here. And it is time to start building. So I'm just going to make a temporary block right here so I can get up. And I think I have to go eight blocks up. This tutorial is by somebody named Jay Wisp. 
So the link will be in the description if anybody else wants to follow it. It seems like a very fast and easy farm, so I'm gonna hope it generates a good amount of iron too. I think the first thing I do is build a 5x5 five five platform, and then I place the beds just like this, I think. Alright, that is great. And then I build a wall around them. Alright, I gotta make some ladders up too, and then use this glass that I got. I think to save on glass, I'm actually gonna do the corners out of brick. Alright, and then I fill this in with glass. Alright, and now it's for the difficult part, which is getting the villagers up here in the first place. I got a couple more rails, so I'm just going to go ahead and start making the bridge. Now I'm going to have to jump down to finish it. Alright, I kind of just have to guess. Actually, I can do this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, then I continue the line. And then we'll break one of these because we need a twist. And then we will start the powered rails again. Yeah, I think we're going to need some more powered rails. Or maybe I just got to use them more wisely. Okay, I think that will work. So one redstone torch here. I should probably also actually steal at least this rail because we don't want them to be going too fast. And then I place one here and finally one here. And then we fill in the rest of the rails. Okay, this should be working. I don't know where I put my minecart. That's the only problem. Oh, I can't find my minecart because of villagers in it, I think. Yeah, this villager is still inside of it. All right, we can move the smithing table, whatever it's called. And we need to make some temporary slabs. I think you gotta give the villagers two blocks of room. Oh, I need to get him in here so I can get the minecart. Uh, I can't get the minecart. Come on. All right, I managed to get it by going on the side. And then I just need to get one of the villagers to go into it at a time. There we go. There's one. I do need to do this. Okay. Villager number one. I hope he got in the box and didn't fall off the map. Okay. He did get in the box. Then we're very careful. We get this minecart back. My inventory is full. Come on. Something's in my offhand, I guess. All right, now we just do that. I forget how many more times. Maybe it's five or four. It's definitely more than one, so let's keep doing it. These villagers are having a secret talk over here. You guys have some business to get done. Okay. No, parrot. That minecart is not for you. Come on, Mr. Villagers. Just get in. All right, now we open this up. Then we can just place that back for safety reasons. And this is the second villager. I think you can also breed them, so I might try to breed them once, and then I only have to move two more villagers. Let's see if this works. Well, I'm gonna keep moving villagers. If it doesn't work, I guess I wasted a bunch of bread. But if it does work, I saved myself a minuscule amount of effort. Alright, the next villager is already ready, so we can just push them away. And then we will have to get the villagers from inside the box. Looks like the villager got stuck up there, or he's on top of somebody's head. Let's go see what happened. The villagers were sleeping. Looks like the bread did not work, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and move one more villager, and then I will also sleep. All right, I got another villager. So now I just have to move the rails like that. Okay, and everything should be good. I'll just need one more rail. All right, now I just need to go to sleep. I just need to find my bed, or I need to find strength to make another bed. Okay, no, I have a bed, okay. And let's see if we have enough villagers. We do not, we need one more. I guess the villagers just stole all of my bread, which is extremely rude. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I can ride the minecart back. Okay, this is really loud, but that was definitely fun. Please, a villager must get in. All right, after I move this guy, the farm should be done. Yes, the last villager. The iron farm is done. Almost. And then I can just leave this here for now. And now it is time to place the chest with all three of the hoppers going into it. Then we place these walls around it. And the last thing to build is this three high wall. Okay, the double last thing to build is four signs. Okay, I did that completely wrong. <laughs> and then one here. Wait. Okay, uh... That is not right, one second. Okay, it was this. And then I place lava and water. All right, there we go. It is done. I just place this wall back and it should be working. I also have to break all this netherrack and I can leave this because that's how I get up to the chest. Just like that, the base is back to normal. And we have a bunch of villagers. And now if it works, we have an infinite source of iron, which we really needed. But I don't know. I don't like this design. It looks really ugly. So what if we just add a corner pillar on every side? It still looks kind of funky, but that looks a lot better. It looks like a tower or something now. So that should be fine. We'll leave it like that. I have a lot of blocks to sort through and make a chest room still. So I'm not sure what I should do first. I kind of get to decide now because there's not something pressuring me. Everything that I need to get done is done. I would love to get some more villager trade, so since we have an iron farm now, maybe I can try and upgrade this guy. 
Yeah, but he just wants too much for that bell, so... I'm kind of frozen now. I can't really buy anything else from him. Another thing that I can do, which will be very useful, is to cut down all of these trees. Oh, and bone mill them to big ones. Oh no. There's so many big trees that grew. What the heck? Well, I'm gonna be down here for a while. And some of my sugarcane has grown, which is good. Because I really need an enchanting table soon. Well, I don't really need it, but I would like to have one. I just finished harvesting all the trees, and I got a little bit over a stack of logs. And once all the saplings drop, I will replant all of the trees too. I used all of the sugarcane I got and I got 11 bookshelves. Which means I think we're about halfway to level 30 enchanting setup. I think something really important that I should do is build the chest room. Because I have a lot of spam items that I should probably put away. I think we'll have just a single chest for stones. And then we can have dirt and gravel probably. Okay, I went ahead and got a bunch of my chests from upstairs. So now I can place a lot of them. Okay, and I think... That's all the chests I'll make for now until I fill them up. And then we can definitely have like a nether chest. I know we need one of those. We can have a beach chest. Or let's just call it ocean. That's more fitting probably. Oh yeah, we can have a wood chest. That'll be one of the first ones. We can have a farming chest. That's very important too. For our bone meal and saplings and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving all of the items into these chests probably because it's a very important task. We got some nether rack, some nether bricks, some more nether bricks. We got some soul sand down here. We can also have a materials chest and we can just put like redstone and emeralds in there. And some gold. And I had to make the snow chest for all of the stumbles that I have for some reason. The sorting is going pretty good. Especially the farming chest. It looks very pretty. But I still have a lot left to sort. Alright, it's a new day and I did a lot of sorting. So I'm probably going to take a break from that and do something else. The first thing I'm going to do is check if I've gotten any iron. Ooh, what? 22 iron already? That is extremely awesome. The first thing I have to do is make another iron axe. Actually, I was gonna make an iron axe and some armor, but if I can upgrade the toolsmith instead, I could get diamond tools or whatever, so I should probably just use that first. All right, please upgrade and give me something good. Okay, those are only iron, so I should probably wait, but those are some really good deals. Well, I think we'll have to wait to upgrade with iron because I'm not sure how much progress that gives. And it seems like I have misplaced my emeralds. Okay, I found my emeralds and I found some extra iron. So if I buy this axe... Okay, no, that's the same amount as just selling these iron ingots. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to unlock it yet. Should I buy that new axe? Not yet. What else can I do while I wait? Oh, that's so cute. The parrot is all the way up there on the bamboo. That is actually really cute. Oh, I don't even know that was possible. That reminds me of my cats. They just sit places for fun. I think it could be a good idea to harvest all this bread. Then I can feed the mushroom cows and I can get the villagers to breed again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I fed the mushroom cows and I have some leftover bread or some wheat. I get 12 bread. Actually, I think I'll just save that and wait till I get some more to feed the villagers. I can also chop down all of my trees I regrew because I need wood. But to be honest, I always need wood. So it also seems like some mobs spawn down here. Which is kind of annoying. Also, that skeleton got me way too low for comfort. I can, oh my gosh, there's a creeper. Yeah, I think I'll actually stay over here. <laughs> this place is way too dark. Yeah, the creeper will blow up. I'm too slow. Creepers get mad so easily. I should go grab my bow and get a refresh on my mushroom stew. I got my crossbow and I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this creeper. And zombie, I guess. But I really got to focus on the creeper. There we go. I can finish the zombie off with my axe. My axe is actually pretty close to breaking, so I will use my bow. Yeah, I don't have enough axe durability to break those two big trees. Oh my gosh, how is there a zombie in here? I should place some torches. Yeah, something like that will probably do fine. Hopefully that stops mobs from spawning. And I can probably also alternate some slabs on the sides with some torches like this. If not, it should probably help the mobs a bit. Because I assume they're spawning in the sugarcane blocks though. Because I don't think they can spawn on slabs. But if there isn't a tree that has grown, they can probably spawn on that block too. So that's why it's good to add some torches like this. All right, my main weapon is a crossbow now because my axe is broken. I also placed some temporary gates because I'm proud to announce I'm back to mining the block for at least a little bit. I'm not sure what else to do right now. Another piece of obsidian. Oh, I blaze spawned. Ouch. Okay, that was much easier than last time. Okay, I got the, both the blazes already. And I have a bunch of new nether blocks. Ooh, a random piece of sand. I thought we were still in the nether phase. Alright, it is a new day. And I just remembered 
that I actually have a sword in this chest. Yeah, I should use this sword. I think I need to organize a little bit more because, I mean, I can't mine the block with a full inventory. So I think I'll dedicate today to sorting. Ooh, before I sort though, maybe I got some more iron and I can go upgrade that villager. I think I will go check. Nine more iron ingots. I don't have enough iron to upgrade the villager, so I'm just going to wait because it'd be a waste to use my emeralds for the other axes, I feel like. So I'm just going to get back to sorting now. I spent the previous day organizing, and as you can see, every single chest is empty now. Well, I guess except for this stuff. Once I get an axe, I'm going to break all those chests too. But yeah, everything is sorted into all of these chests down here, which is really nice. So everything is organized now. And the next thing I'm going to build is the sorting system. But to build a sorting system, we need a lot of iron for all those hoppers. We only have 12 right now, and I need to use that for villager upgrading. So yeah, it's safe to say the hopper system is going to have to wait a while. We could probably build out of water and only use like two hoppers now that I think about it. I might actually do that instead. Ooh, this villager locked iron as a trade. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, come on. It's 15 emeralds for an iron axe. We might as well buy it because I need an axe right now to do a couple of things. One of which is break these chests, which will be really satisfying. So let's just delete all of this garbage. Yeah, that already looks a lot better. I also made my GUI bigger so you guys can see it because when it's smaller, it's really hard to see it on the video. So I will have it big if I remember from now on. I can also use this axe to break down some trees, which I'm going to do now. Like I said, I'm going to have to go get more bone blocks because I'm almost out. Ooh, I could also build a mob farm though, and then I could always be getting bones from that. That might be worth it. I also need saplings. I totally forgot about that. I think fortune throwing an axe makes saplings drop more though. And I'm really lazy. I don't want to go back. So I'll do that, I guess. Oh no, big trees again. Maybe I should stop planting trees right here because the sugar can probably make some grow big. Okay, I actually keep getting sidetracked, but I need to harvest the sugar cane before I chop trees down for it can keep growing. And I'm going to go check the sugar cane up there, but then I'll chop down all these trees and then I'll get back to you after that probably. All right, I had an idea. Like, does anyone remember those really old elevators in Minecraft that were built out of mine carts? I was thinking maybe I could have one of those, but I can use boats. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try. All right, let's see if this does work. Oh my gosh, it actually does work, I guess. I'm just going to have to place one more boat here. Okay, that was a fail. I was trying to do something. Okay, I have to build back up. Dude, are you serious? I lost my only boat. All right, this is the moment of truth. Is it fast and does it work? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty fast. I like that. And it doesn't cost any minecarts. I'm not sure if you can still do that, but I remember that used to be a thing. So now I can jump down. Well... I was supposed to catch myself on the ladder, but it's okay that I didn't. And then, yeah, just like that. I think I could actually make it faster, but I have to move this bottom boat forward a little bit. So if I hop in and do like one and a half blocks, now I should be able to click them in succession. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I like that. That is a very fast elevator. I can't believe that actually worked though. I, I, I really thought it was going to not like even function correctly or I don't know the day's coming to an end but I think I'll go ahead and get some more bread because bread is a pretty important resource around here or I mean wheat because I want to breed the cows again because once again enchantment table I can get looting and fire aspect which will help me get a bunch of cooked beef and leather and I can use this wheat for all of these cows there's a lot of them Ooh, I leveled up from breeding them almost how many more cows need to eat holy Okay, I actually am... It's getting to the point where I can't even move. All right, let's escape. Excuse me, cows. All right, yeah. It's almost time to do some beef collecting. I also got a stack of sugar cane, so I think I should go get some leather and see how many more books I can make. Because I might be able to make the enchanting table now. Yeah, I still have 45 leather. And I can make 21 books, which would be 7 bookshelves. That's a pretty good amount. So I think I should go ahead and craft the enchanting table too. I just need one book for that. Four obsidian. And two of my diamonds. All right, there we go. The enchantment table is crafted and I can craft some of the bookshelves too. I can only craft six now, but that's okay. Okay, I have 18. So maybe I should make a place to place it once I can actually craft it. I think I will probably have the chest system lead down to here. So I can't use this spot. Mm hmm. I could probably just do like a three by three right here. Yeah, that's probably fine. And bookshelves, just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Actually, do I have enough? I have enough bookshelves already. Well, maybe not anymore because I broke it. Okay, I have to recraft one single bookshelf. 
and then this should be level 30 yeah it is okay well i guess i can start enchanting then but i should probably wait to get diamond tools from villagers so i guess i do have to keep waiting unfortunately i can take all my iron and go trade so let me collect all my valuables and i'll try to do some trading since i bred the cows i think it's a villager's turn so i'm gonna go ahead and collect some more wheat for bread since i have 12 already from earlier because i'm gonna have to start using a lot more villagers soon and that would be kind of bad if i didn't have enough ready so I might as well just have so many villagers ready. So when I'm ready to do it, I'm ready. I guess I can't bone meal the whole wheat field. I ran out of bone meal. I probably have some more downstairs, but I don't know if I want to go all the way down there. So this is good enough for now, I guess. I was looking at some villager trades and I realized one of them takes quartz for emeralds. And I already have a diamond pick. So maybe if I enchant and get fortune. Okay, yeah, I did get fortune. So that's pretty lucky. And now I can go mine some quartz. I also have a many pickaxe I can add to this. But should I do it now or later? Well, I don't have any iron, so I think that decision has been made for me. Hopefully it doesn't break. I'm just going to mine quartz for a couple minutes and see how much I can get then. And then we'll go back and try and trade it for some more emeralds. Alright, I collected a bunch of gold and quartz and my inventory is literally full now, so I'm just going to have to head back home. Right, I'm just going to put all the gold and quartz here for now and I'm going to breed the villagers real quick because I forgot to do it at when I harvested the wheat or whatever. Some bread for you, some bread for you, and a piece of bread for you. Okay, hopefully that- oh yeah, it's already working, nice. Before doing any trading, I need to get two items real quick though, and I have no idea what either of them are called. But no, the first one is a brewing stand. I don't know what that's called. Okay, so the brewing stand, and it's three pieces of iron, a stone cutter, okay. Those are the two items. And I'm also going to take some of the clay I have, since I'll need it to trade. And then I go get two more villagers. I need to move villagers over here. First villager, come on. Hopefully they get in the minecart fast. Okay, they're gonna make it difficult. Okay, they're gonna make it double difficult. Okay, there we go. First villager. I push him into the stall. I lock him in. Then we break that mine cart. And then I actually have to push him into. But those are some pretty easy steps. All right, I'm ready for the next villager already. So let's get his hut ready. And hope we get him on the first try. We did not. It looks like I will be able to get one first try if I go from here. Now we're just gonna connect this like that. And there you go, villager number two. No, not that way. Wrong way, bro. Okay, both the villagers are ready, I think. First step, break mine cart. Second step, push in a spot. Okay, I actually did already. All right, now we place the stone cutter on one and the blaze rod on the other. I do have to trade a little bit to unlock the trades I want. The first one, I need to trade some clay. And then let me go see if I have rotten flesh real quick. All right, it turns out I only have 29 rotten flesh, so I'm just gonna have to trade the old-fashioned way. I have to waste my precious emeralds. I hope this is worth it. Ooh, wait, I, let me, I think I failed already. Let me go check. Okay, no, yeah, I have to buy. Okay, this guy's, this is gonna take way longer than I thought. Okay, yeah, but this guy already unlocked the gold trade, so let's give him the maximum amount that he'll take, get our emeralds back. All right, there we go. We're back up to 60 emeralds. The trade is locked, but we have so many different options now, which is awesome. All right, I traded all my clay since I can get brick now anyway. And I think I'm just gonna finish this off. All right, I have 28 chiseled stone bricks. Hopefully he unlocks the good trade now. I think it's one away actually, but... Ooh, I can get polished diorite, polished granite. Okay, that's awesome. So many blocks I can get now. I'll buy diorite because I might actually use these anyway. Those are really good looking blocks, in my personal opinion. I still haven't unlocked quartz, which is... He's expert. Yeah, I think that means I may ha I may have to get another one of these villagers to unlock it. Should I try? That's yeah, only like eight emeralds to check, I guess. So I will check real quick. Yeah, I have to get another one of these villagers. This guy can trade me quartz, but he doesn't take quartz. So Stonecutter, come back. And one more villager, please come with me. Yeah, I really need to keep breeding villagers. I only have three in there. We're gonna need a lot more than that eventually. All right, Mr. Villager, please exit the minecart. Watch your step. Okay, there we go. I can give him the stone cutter back and we can trade again, I guess. All right, that was a lot of emeralds and now I have a lot of bricks. Well, I bought all of his stuff and I cannot get quartz again. So maybe they, maybe it's a different version that I'm looking at online. That kind of sucks though because I wasted a bunch of emeralds. Maybe I'll try again in a, a bit though because I have a bunch of quartz. Maybe I, I'll go mine some more gold maybe. Oh, the clerk unlocked his trade. I can get some more. Oh, he's upgrading. I can buy ender pearls. I don't even know those in the game anymore. The gold trade is locked, unfortunately. Well, maybe I have a lot more iron waiting for me in the iron golem farm. Might as well go and check. Ooh, 32 iron. I might use that to make an anvil, to be honest. Actually, then I'll have to use my levels and I should use it to enchant first. So I will upgrade villagers, I guess. Oh no, this guy locked his trade. Maybe it's time to make another villager. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a weaponsmith villager before the day is over. 
All right, I got my grindstone and I can give this villager it and hopefully he'll take the job. He did. Dude, I have to buy like 10 iron axes. Are you joking? That's so stupid. Well, I don't have any more coal, so I guess this is my only option. Oh my gosh, I don't have seven emeralds left, but I can get all of those back. Okay, not all of them, but I got a lot of them back. Please give me a good tool. Wait, are you joking? You didn't give me anything. Well, I can get infinite gravel from piglins and that guy wants flint. So I'm going to enchant my shovel and see if I can get some flint for free. I didn't get efficiency. I mean, fortune. Yeah, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go use the grindstone and see if I can get fortune if I try again. Because I do not want to keep trading emeralds and iron. But the iron is unlocked. Okay, but maybe I don't need to do gravel. Let me throw all these axes out too. Okay, he gave me a diamond axe, but... Honestly, what I'm looking for is... Okay, there's all my iron. But the thing I'm looking for is the diamond sword, which comes next, I think. Yeah, but maybe I can get some gravel. So let's go see if I can re-enchant this and get a little more lucky. All right, attempt number two. What the heck? Good thing I brought the grindstone with me. Here goes all my levels. Okay, I didn't get fortune again. All right, I didn't get fortune again. Wait, this is the last time I can enchant. Dude, are you joking? Okay, one more time and fortune is guaranteed. But there goes all my levels. That actually sucks. I needed those levels. Well, they're gone now, so I might as well just forget about it. All right, I got a stack of flints, so I'm going to go ahead and go up and see how much more I need to mine until I can upgrade this guy to expert. Ooh, flint gives so much XP. Okay, let me get some more flint. All right, I can do two more. No, one more. I should be able to do another one now. Okay, yeah, just one more trade and I'll unlock the expert tier. All right, the last trade that I need. And I do get a sword, which sucks. But I can buy one. And then I use the grindstone. And then I really hope I get looting on it and fire aspect. I'm going to grow the wheat again so I can breed more cows since that gives XP. And I'm going to be able to actually harvest the cows soon for some beef. All right, and I can breed all of the cows. I probably shouldn't breed them again after this. I feel like they're going to start suffocating inside of each other. All right, that's enough. Goodbye, cows. Let me out. All right, I'm going to grow this wheat one more time. I think I'm going to spend all of tomorrow collecting bone blocks in the nether before I can get an infinite amount of bread again. Well, it's not really infinite, I guess, but I get a good supply of it because I really want to see if I can get a villager that trades quartz, but I tried twice and it didn't work out. And I want to keep wasting villagers, but if I have a bunch of villagers, I won't really care about wasting them. So I'll try like one or two more times if I can get a bunch of bread. So that's what I'm going to spend the next day or two, probably. All right, I believe it's day 40 and I am officially ready to go to the nether and get some more bone blocks. All right, I found my first bones, finally. I think there's a couple patches around here, so I'll get all of them and hope there's some more close by. Yeah, it just looks like it's these, then I'm gonna have to keep looking again. Well, and there's a little bit over there, but that looks like it's it for now. I found an area that has a pretty good amount of bone blocks, but I'm running out of food, so I'm probably gonna head home in a second. I have collected over a stack of bone blocks, which is good though. Ooh, but there's three things down here. I have to get those before I go. Whoops, should probably get out of the way. I do have six bread, which I was going to save, but since there's so many bone blocks, I'm just going to eat it. I have to find a way to get down here. I have to go all the way around, I guess. I'm actually like so far away from where I was just at. I'm following this huge trail of bone blocks, and I'm going to go back and finish those other ones since it's closer to the portal anyway. But first, I'm going to make sure all the bone blocks over here are in my inventory. And I have four bread left, so I do have to head back soon still. I just want to make sure I get a lot of bones. I'm at two and a half stacks of blocks right now. It right, looks like that's it for over here, so we'll head back towards the portal now and get all of those blocks. I'm so low on food, but there's three more chains of blocks here. I need to get them before I go. There's more bone blocks around here, but I have to head home now since this is my last piece of bread, and I do not want to accidentally die. Hopefully the skeleton doesn't shoot me off the cliff. Why are there so many ghasts right here right now? Okay, this is the wrong way. I'm so low, but I made it back home safely. That's all that matters. Okay, there is it one skeleton, but I can get through the portal before he can hit me. Here we go. Some delicious mushroom stew. I got almost five stacks of bone blocks. That is a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of wheat today. That's all I'm gonna do probably. <laughs> Cause yeah, I wanna breed a bunch of villagers so I don't have to worry about wasting them. Okay, I harvested the wheat field like twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed the villagers real quick. And I'll probably throw them like 20 bread each. And I hope that's enough. Maybe like four more each too, just to make sure. And I will keep harvesting the wheat. All right, I just harvested the wheat farm a bunch more times. I'm probably just going to throw these seeds out since I don't have anywhere to keep them. And I think seeds are useless. And if they aren't useless, then oops. I'm going to keep some of this wheat for breeding and some of it for baking bread. Maybe I'll go feed the cows a stack real quick. Actually, you know what? 
I think it's better if I just wait. Oops, I did not mean to hit the cows. You know what? This guy can stay out. I was going to defeat him in a battle, but he isn't hurting anybody. Okay, it's the next day, and this villager is going crazy. <laughs> he flew out of the glass because there's too many villagers in there. And now he's like, I don't know. He's being real dangerous. Villager, get down, dude. What are you doing? Mr. Villager, I do not like that. No, please don't go over there. Okay, what the heck is this guy doing? Somebody tell him to stop. Dude, this guy is making me mad. Okay, there we go. We got him. You're done, buddy. I have no idea where I should put him, though. I guess right here is fine. All right, and we push him all the way there. We need my oak slabs, too. Pit one in the middle, two on the side. One here. We break the mine cart. Same old, same old. Let me push him in there. Then I can break these sides. And I have to go get... What was it? The stone cutter? Okay, please don't waste a villager for me. Please just unlock quartz somehow. Oh, I'm gonna need more emeralds before I do that, though. I didn't even remember or think of that. Okay, we can trade some more gold. That's good. Hmm. I probably want to go mine some trees. That would be a good idea, most likely. All right, I was collecting wood for a very long time, and I got three stacks of logs, and I'm gonna go trade some of them for sticks to emeralds. And I hope I get a good amount, but who knows. All right, I'm ready to do some trading with sticks. All right, somebody told me to use space bar, and I just tried it. That makes trading really fast. Unfortunately, though, I think that guy locked his trade. All right, well, let's keep the sticks and wood in here, and I will come back and trade them when they're off cooldown. And I could also turn another villager into a Fletcher, which I probably will, but not right now. All right, it's a new day, and I'm checking the iron. Hopefully, I have a lot. 60. That is very nice. I think it might be time to build a hopper system so we don't have to use as much storage. But to build that, I'm going to need some water buckets, some chests, and some hoppers. So I'm just going to go ahead and collect all of that. Well, I accidentally just broke a bunch of seeds. Let me replace those. But I also just got the water. Okay, I don't know where the other seeds went. Okay, it's okay. I'll replant the other one later. Okay, the first thing I have to do is place some outline blocks. So it will be something like this. And then we have the blocks underneath. And then we just go probably like... Yeah, probably just to right here. Okay, then I think I can probably make a sign. This looks really ugly, but at least it will help us be more efficient. And then I think I can do like this. Okay, this looks so ugly. Maybe I can make it look better later somehow. And then what if we do this? Okay, I mean, that works so far. Okay, I also have to build an infinite water source since I forgot to. This also looks really ugly, but it is necessary. Okay, I wonder if this will work if I just build a little bit of another highway here. Yeah, this is really messy. Maybe I should just use pure hoppers. I don't know. I'm going to have to get some more wood, though. And then, yeah, let's just see if that works. If we throw a block out, does it land right here? Let me go test it. Okay, so let's pretend we're mining the block. Let's mine the block once, too, for fun. And then all those blocks should end up... Okay, it's working so far, so... Ooh, we have to move the nether portal, though. Probably should have just been a little bit smarter with my placements. I wanted to move the portal anyway, but... And one, two, three, four... Five... And then I think right here, we just drop it all the way down. Like, we'll just have a huge tube right here. And then I'll go into chests. Okay, let's break everything now and see if it works. All right, this should be done now. Just have to place a couple more blocks. And then I have to place some water and decide what I'm going to go to. Yeah, probably just like right here. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's just do the eighth block will fall and we'll need one more fence. Maybe you can just use this fence kit I have. Then right here will be hoppers. So let's just place all the blocks and see if it works. One water bucket goes here. And we can also place wood here so everything can bump on each other, get to the right spot. And I'm gonna need torches also. I just thought about that. Okay, we're missing some water up here. So let's go get that. Okay, let's see if that works. If I just throw that there. Yeah, it looks like it's working and it looks like it's working great. So now I just need a couple more pieces of wood. And I need to craft just like probably three hoppers for now. It's good. Okay, I got my wood now. Well, looks like I lined this up wrong. Probably gonna make a little bit of an adjustment. And I will place the fence gate right here instead. I need like three more hoppers. I can craft those right now. And I need one more chest. Just regular. So I have to make sure I place these hoppers right. Let's make sure. Okay, that one hopper is correct. And then I actually need more chests. Okay, there we go. It should be good now. And then I jump down and place the hopper on the back of each. No, oh, what is happening? <laughs> I'm gonna have to remove the fence gate for now. Yeah, I have to remove the fence gate. Jump really fast. Ooh. And then one more hopper on top of that one. I can also place the fence gate. Actually, 
I should probably leave it like that. That might help the items get in more. And then everything should flow down into these chests if I'm correct. Okay, I can test it tomorrow to see if it works. Okay, this thing is so ugly on a real note. And I can have an emergency chest like, I don't know, right here, I guess. And it can have all of the items necessary for repairing it in case it breaks. And then you would just mine the block like this. Now it's time to see if the block sorting system actually works, which I think it probably does, but I'm still going to test it. And maybe I can get some more progress on the block while I test it. Because I think I'm at the seventh phase or something. I just got my third wither skull too, so I could spawn a wither whenever I want. Okay, I think that's enough blocks, so let's go see if it worked. And it does work, so I'm just going to mine the block for a bit, I guess. Okay, I mined like five more blocks and the block is upgraded now and there's 25 seconds. So I'll just throw all of the items I don't need down and then we'll see what the block upgrades to. And it upgraded to... I don't even know how to say that, but it's okay. We're at phase eight, so there's only two phases left. Looks like there's some emeralds on this phase and we have fortune, so that is pretty good. A couple of bees spawned. I guess I'll just let them roam around because I don't know if you can capture bees. I think if there's a beehive right there, we'll go in it, but I don't think I can make that. I don't know how it works. Okay, the bees spawn again, and they're mad at me. And this is a rare chest that I just got with the bees, which has a punch book and a luck potion. I'm not sure what a luck potion would do, but nice. Ooh, a cat. Okay, yeah, the cat almost fell, but maybe I can get some fish for the cat soon. I might see if I can get a village where they trade quartz again, because I really want one. Was that the stone cutter villager? I think it was. Okay, yeah, I have one right here. So let's buy some bricks. Oh no, did I buy too many bricks? I don't know. Okay, he's almost leveled up, but I do need to get some more emeralds. All right, he's gonna level up one more time. Hopefully he doesn't scam me. He also got some bricks though, so I'm sure I can build something out of that. Okay, no quartz yet again. Okay, well, I really need food and I got level 30, so maybe I'll get looting or fire aspect. Please. Dude, are you joking? What the heck? That is seriously messed up. I think I can actually go get iron though. And put many on my diamond pickaxe and then go repair it and also get some gold while i'm in the nether again or maybe i'll wait till tomorrow to do that and do a couple more things before and i can also harvest the sugar cane i mean i already have an enchantment table but i'm sure sugar cane will be handy for something okay i just crafted bread and i'm gonna eat it and i think i will craft a couple extra pieces since i don't want to run out tomorrow and then i'm just gonna sort my inventory in the chest room downstairs and then i'm gonna go to the nether and get the quartz and gold, like I said. All right, I'm ready to go to the nether. I just have to go over to the portal that I broke. Okay, I totally forgot about that. Well, I'm gonna remake the portal, then I'll go to the nether. Okay, I'm just gonna build the portal right here, probably. One nether brick, nether nether brick. Uh, that's actually called nether rack. Okay, here we go, the new portal. It's a little bit scuffed, but who cares? And then I will place a wall on the back just for no incidents happen. We'll light it up. I should probably have better armor, but I need to wait for villagers to get armor, so I'll just go with my iron chest plate and gold leggings. But piglins and pigmen don't hit me automatically with this gold on, so yeah. I can't really die to anything except those. Like, the skeletons do a little bit of damage, but you just hide from them and kill them slowly. Also, I just realized my pickaxe got repaired already because I combined it. So I'm probably not going to mine for as long as I originally thought, but I'll get some gold and quartz still, because I can trade gold and it's fun to mine in the nether anyway all right i'm just mining gold still and i have a lot of golden nuggets and i'm getting quartz because i want level 30 to try and try my sword again so i'll probably leave when i get level 30 well i got level 30 so i'm just gonna head back home for now and see if i can get a good enchantment on my sword but i'll probably be back to get another level 30 enchantment okay i can put my sword into the grindstone wherever it is where is the grindstone oh it's in the chest okay and then i can go enchant it again Hmm, that enchantment sucks, so I should probably just refresh the trade with a level 1 enchant. And I will go get the rest of the XP I need real quick and enchant it one more time before the next day. Okay, I'm already at level 30. I just bridged across the lava here and found some quartz that I didn't get. Alright, I just got back from the nether. And, dude, what? Knockback 2? Last time I enchanted the sword, it literally got knockback 2 only, so I think I'll just enchant at level 1 again. Because I don't want to waste my time. And then tomorrow I will get some more XP and enchant it again. Before we go to the nether, I'm going to put my quartz away. And I'm going to put them up here because I hope that the villager takes it as a trade eventually. Because it doesn't say it's an old version. This is supposed to be the version it works on. But for some reason, the villager won't give me the trade. Hopefully there's some quartz nearby again. I'm just going to go up here. I'm probably just going to go across my bridge. Because there's a lot of stuff up here. 
Maybe I'll just get level 33 real quick. I think I actually will do that. And then I have two chances at the enchanting table. All right, that is level 30. And like I said, I'm probably gonna go to level 33 since I'm already all the way up here. And I'll probably get some more gold too. I think I got over a stack. Yeah, I got over a stack of gold last time. And maybe I'll get another cleric villager and trade all of that for emeralds. Well, the penguin just shot me and broke my gold leggings. So I think I should make some new ones. And maybe I'll add in some boots for now too. I also crafted some more gold and I'm almost at two stacks. But I'm not at level 33 yet, so I'm gonna get that. All right, I'm about to be level 33. There we go. Now I can head back home. All right, I'm back from the nether and it is time to see if I can get a better enchantment. So the first one is looting three. Okay, that's actually what I wanted. But it literally has knocked back two. That kind of sucks. I guess I'll just have to deal with it for now. Maybe I could just get an iron sword. Let me see if I can get good enchant on one of those. Maybe this will be looting too. It doesn't look like it. Okay, it actually was. So if I combine this and my old fire aspect. Okay, well, I guess I didn't have to do all of that. Because I don't want to knock back. Knock back is so bad. But this sword will do the trick. So let's go and collect some beef from the cows. And after, I will breed them again because I have a bunch of wheat waiting. Okay, I got over a stack, so that is enough for now. And there's still so many cows. Yeah, I can't even get out. I probably don't even have to breed them again right now because there's just too many. But I have a good food source now, which is awesome. And we can trade this gold with the cleric. Okay, maybe we can keep upgrading this guy and hope he has a trade for quartz. I hope I'm not getting scammed. If this guy doesn't have it, then I guess the thing I looked up lied to me. Yeah, he doesn't trade quartz either. I guess they don't trade it anymore or something. I'm gonna go ahead and get another cleric because they're very useful. Just have to find my minecart. I don't know where I put my minecart. I'm gonna have to go find it. But I can move this rail and move it to where I need the next villager to go. Which will be over here, maybe. Oops, I should probably place that torch back. Yeah, he can go right here. All right, I got the minecart. And now I'm just gonna hope the villager gets in first try. Okay, he did. I gotta move him now and get my brain stand ready. All right, we just gotta trap him in there. Break the minecart. And there we go. I think I have to buy some redstone first, which I'll probably end up using at some point. Then we let him upgrade and he should have a gold trade again. There we go. I still have so much extra gold though, but I can wait for them to unlock the trade. This guy also trades nether wart for emeralds, so I could make a little nether wart farm somewhere. But one thing I really want to try since I have food now is go to the nether, find a fortress, and see if I can put the turtle egg in it. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that, which will probably take about this whole day. Well, I finally found a fortress. Let's see if I can find a spawner now. Well, I found a spawner, but it has a bunch of mobs again, so I'm going to have to defeat them. Okay, I think there's only one blaze right now that I have to kill. Or two. Or three, because another one spawned. Okay, now I need to get my turtle egg and try it. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. But if I place the creeper one in here, can creepers spawn in the nether? This guy probably needs grass to spawn or something. Well, either way, it works, so I'm going to have to build a path to get here. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I just have to combine to zero, zero. And I'm going to do it just over here first. I'm at zero on my X, and so now I just have to go down to like Y35. I think that's where my portal is. And then I have to mine 300 blocks. And then I have a path all the way to this spawner area. And hopefully this was the closest fortress. I think it probably is. Okay, I think I'm at the right Y level now, so I just have to go 300 blocks in this direction. And I guess the cave is over, so maybe I'll just make some signal posts. So I don't know which way to go. Okay, I finally dug all the way back to my portal. So I'm just gonna grab some sand and dirt and then go back and see if I can get turtles to start spawning. All right, now all I have to do is run all the way back to the fortress, which probably only takes like two minutes if I had to guess. And I could definitely make the path better, but for now, this will do. Okay, I'm finally back to the turtle spawner and there's some blazes now, I guess. So let's just block them off. I can probably use some fence case like that. Okay, and if I just break all this floor, I can be able to see it. If I can get turtles. I'm not sure what the use of turtles will be, but it'll be kind of funny if I can get them in the nether. Like, I think we should probably try here with some sand and then some dirt in case they only spawn on that. And then also torches because light is usually pretty important. Well, there's no turtles spawning, so maybe they just can't spawn. I might steal my dirt back in sand. I could definitely make a creeper spawn in here, but I'm not sure if that would be very useful since I could just use a mob grinder for creepers. But yeah, this is still cool and I might come back here and do something funny later. So let's light it up and I will go back to the base for now. 
All right, I'm back home and I'm gonna empty my inventory into all of these chests since it is very full. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and chop some trees down so I can probably collect blocks to build the mob grinder I wanna build. Because once I do that, I can have rotten flesh to trade for emeralds, bones for bone meal, and gunpowder for, I don't know, stuff to use gunpowder for. Maybe an elytra, but my island is not that big and an elytra is not very useful on this, I feel like. But we could still make one. Well, we can make fireworks to use it, not an elytra. I collected three and a half sacks of logs, but my axe is pretty close to breaking, so I'm probably gonna call it there. I think there's probably enough logs to build what I wanna build anyway. And to start this day off, I'll harvest all this sugar cane down here, and I will go use some of my bone meal on the wheat, and then probably breed the villagers again. Okay, I harvested all the wheat, and I think it's time to expand the farms if possible. So I'm gonna go grab some of the wood that I was got for the mob grinders and start to lay out what I think I could do to expand. I could probably just add the fence like this for extra blocks and we could change this to be like that. Mm, I just don't know how much dirt I have. So let me go grab my dirt and see how much I can build. Yeah, I don't really have much dirt left. So I think I will just expand four blocks for now. And I will break all of these fans and replace them with a staircase, maybe? I think that would be good. I just don't know what kind of staircase I should use yet. Also, earlier I was thinking you could you used to be able to place carpet on the water blocks, I think. But can you use trap doors? Okay, you can. So, the plants should be able to grow still, I assume. And I can place all of these. And then we will have stairs there to get up. I also need to go get a bucket so I can place the blocks right here. Because I can't reach them. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. I put it down. I'll just use a trap door, I guess. Then I can pick my water up, place that just like that. Hopefully my axe doesn't break before I'm done building this. I have one more corner to complete, so I will just go down again with water. Okay, there we go. Then I will finish the outline. I'm gonna have to craft some fence, but other than that, it is basically done up here. Well, I was actually thinking and I did that kind of wrong. I need to place a block here because I have four grass blocks. I need one water block. Okay, now I can place the rest of the logs. And I bet I can craft all the fence I need with the materials I have in my inventory. Yeah, a stack of fence, that will probably be enough. Everyone else will need a couple of slabs. Alright, I put all my stuff away, and I think we're gonna go ahead and create this farm now. I think I would just make it normal seeds. But once I get a mob grinder, I can make it potatoes and carrots too. And actually, I could make trap doors again to cover up this side. I think 16 is going to be enough though. Yeah, it is not enough. I probably need like five more if I had a guess. I can just throw out these extra woods because why not? And then I can hold this land and plant some seeds. Actually, I think the correct term is to tilt the land. So I always forget about that though. All right, there's the rest of the seeds. And once I get more dirt, I can also expand the animal area, which will be a nice change. And if we view all from over here, the line is starting to look really, really good. I like that addition to it. It looks a lot better now. Well, I was killing a spider and just accidentally whacked this villager, so... All of the trades are expensive now. Okay, to build a mob grinder, it says I need 25 stacks of blocks, and this is only 16 stacks. So, I'm gonna probably buy a new axe and mine some more trees, and then build the mob grinder in a day or two. Hopefully my clerics want to trade gold, because I still have some. Okay, yeah, this guy can trade gold again, and I'm already out. Oh yeah, this guy can't trade it, but 34 emeralds should be enough. Uh, it's 23 instead of 19 because I hit him, but it's okay because it is a pretty good axe. And it should last me a while again. I do need to get some more bone mill before I chop those trees. 20 bone blocks should be enough, but I will take like 14 extra. All right, I collected a bunch more wood, which should be enough now. And tomorrow, I think I'm going to build the grinder. If I have everything that is, I have a couple more things to collect. Okay, I think I have everything I need to build the mob grinder. I might be a little bit low on wood, but yeah, I can always get more if I need it. Okay, actually, I think I should have just enough. So let me just trade all of this garbage, get all of this wood in my inventory, and let's start building. I just don't really know where to build it. I think I will go like 20 blocks or 15, 16 blocks. Okay, then I think I can just go like eight blocks to the side will be fine. And then this will be the platform where I build it. Okay, we can see my island from far away too. It looks very interesting. And I can do this FOV zoom since I don't actually have any mods on right now, I don't think. Okay, the first thing I will have to do is place some slabs for the mobs to fall onto. And these blocks will eventually be hoppers, but for now, it will just look like this. Then I stack up just a bit and make a round thing. 
I'm gonna stack up a little bit and then I make a square around that and break these two blocks I had to place temporarily. And then I have to stack up all around. So let me get some more planks. And then I go up 22 blocks. So I'm gonna have to do that on all four of these. All right, I took a lot of damage falling last time. So I'm gonna have to go the slow way down and take some water. Okay, this is definitely 22 blocks. So now I can just build it as fast as I want. I was just counting a couple different times to make sure I had the right length. I also have to wait for this water to disappear, I guess. I'll build these three blocks up, then I'll do the other two over there. All right, now I have to go eight blocks out on each side. I hope this farm is good. I hope I got a good tutorial. Again, it will be in the description. I might forget at first, so if it is in the description, somebody comment and I'll make sure to update it. But this tutorial is by Fazzy Gaming, F-A-Z-Y Gaming. So, all right, now that I have all of these sides, I have to build a wall on each corner or whatever, like all the way around. So let me just place all those blocks. And then I will start building the wall. All right, I've finished the walls. Now just expand the platforms out to each corner on all four sides too. All right, and once again, I've finished another aspect of the build. The whole floor is done. The next part is two high walls all around, which is pretty easy to do. <laughs> I mean, all of it's easy to do, so. Also, if you're still watching this part of the video and you feel like leaving a comment, comment what 100 days video I should do next because I'm planning on doing one every two to three weeks. And at first, I'm probably gonna do all like the really popular ones, maybe so more people can find my channel easier. But after that, I'm probably gonna start trying to do some more unique, awesome stuff that people probably haven't even done yet. Maybe just random mod packs if I can find some cool ones or things like that. But there's a lot of ones I wanna do that a lot of other people have done. Like one block, I've already done one block before, but I think there's surviving on a raft or something too. I really wanna try that because it looks fun. To be honest, I forgot what I was saying because I was sleeping and stuff, but I was talking about mods and yeah, there's a lot of mod packs I wanna try. One I'm really excited for is Zombie Apocalypse. I actually made a mod pack for that like three or four months ago, but my computer is not that good. I got it for Christmas when I was a kid and without saying too much, I am definitely not a kid anymore. I forget how old I was, but my computer must be like six or seven or eight years old or something. Okay, maybe not eight. That seems like a lot, but it is really old. And to be honest, I don't know if I can even like run. Like I'm playing one block because there's a void and it's really easy for to run in that computer. Like I can even use shaders, I think, on one block, but anything more than that in my computer just really starts lagging and I can't even record it. So leave a like and share it with a friend. And if this video gets some views, I can probably upgrade that and I'll be able to play a lot more mod packs. Oh yeah, another mod pack I want to play too, but I can't right now is Better Minecraft. I think I've wanted to play Better Minecraft for like two years or something. But yeah, I definitely can't play right now. I, I think I get like, I get really low FPS. But the reason I'm talking about this is because I want to hear what mod packs I should play in the description. And just let me know what mods or maps you think are cool and I'll definitely end up playing it probably. But anyways, enough with that talk and I should probably get back to the real commentary. I feel like a lot of people don't want to hear about that kind of stuff, so I will keep talking about one block. And on that note, the farm is basically done, I think. All right, and I can place the slabs on top now. I think you can place carpet inside, but if you guys have been paying attention, I don't have any carpet because my sheep died from an angry wolf. So I guess I have to go the no carpet route, unfortunately. Well, I ended up deciding to go and see if I do have string because I don't think you need that much carpet. So I can probably actually put it in the mob farm. Okay, this is not looking too good so far. Well, before I finish the farm, I guess I have to go on a side quest because I need some more wool. So I need string from bartering with piglins because I only found 20 carpet in all of my chests and I have no more wool or string. But while I wait, I'm gonna go to the nether tomorrow. While I wait, I'm gonna do some block mining maybe because I haven't mined the block in a bit. Before I do that though, just look how good this looks. I love how I added this part onto the farm area. And once I get dirt, I can probably add another part to the animals. I just don't have dirt right now because the block is evil. It doesn't want me to have dirt. Maybe I can get string from the block. Maybe I'll just place a piece of wool and I can get carpet. I don't know, honestly. Some slimes. Very interesting. <laughs> oh, there's a beehive that uh, spawned in. Well, I should probably get silk touch pickaxe. I wonder how much XP these give. Okay, that is not enough. I'm just gonna keep them. And I'm going to go mine some quartz before I can try to get an iron silk touch pickaxe. And then I can get that beehive and store some bees in it, I think. I don't know how it works, but maybe this is my only chance to get some bees. All right, well, I got level 30. 
and I'm going to try and see if I can get lucky. All right, is it Silk Touch? That is definitely not Silk Touch. I'm gonna have to build my wood away for now, and I'm gonna go back to Nether and Mine for a bit. I'll probably get level 33 again and just hope I get lucky. All right, well, I finally hit level 33 and I've been mining for a while. I also collected a bunch of bone blocks and some gold, so I think I'm about ready to go home now. All right, I'm finally back home and I'm going to try and enchant my iron pick for silk touch now. All right, attempt number two, no silk touch. Well, this isn't guaranteed silk touch, so let me just reroll once since I have enough XP and fortune. Yeah, fortune and silk touch can't be on the same pick, so and fortune again. Maybe I'll just mine the beehive. No, I think I want silk touch. I just don't know what to do yet. I do know I can go barter with some piglins before I can finish the farm though, so let me sleep and do that. Okay, any piglins nearby? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do have two right here, so I'm just gonna use these. Okay, I have both the piglins, but this guy I can't see probably because it's magma cube. Yeah, now he's going in. Go in, piglin, go. And please stop being annoying, magma cube. I got some free iron boots with silk speed. That's nice. And I already have some string. Okay, I traded with the piglins my entire stack of gold, and I got five wool, which actually isn't enough, I guess. So I think I'm going to go mine some more gold. All right, I just got back from the nether, and I got 27 ingots, which I will go trade with piglins again, probably. And I got six iron, which is pretty nice. All right, I'm back in the nether, and I'm going to trade some piglins. I have 34 gold, which will hopefully give me some string, but I'm also gonna go look for some gold around here too. While I'm still looking for gold, but I also just got level 33, so I can enchant my iron pickaxe two more times now. All right, I'm back at the gold, and it looks like there's no string, but I can also craft 29 more ingots. Let's check if there is any string. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, I got 26 more, but I think that's all I can get, so hopefully this is the time that I get string. While the pigments are done trading, I only got four string. So I think I'll just keep mining then. I'm gonna spend as much of this day as I can mining, but I also just realized that I'm pretty low on food. I probably should have gone some more before I left, but I think seven stakes should last me a while if I'm careful. All right, I just went back to the portal and I have a little over two stacks of gold. So hopefully I get some better luck with my piglins now. I will just throw almost all of it into there and go see if I can find some more piglins to make it go faster too. And I also just ran out of steak. Okay, I found a penguin. <laughs> I found a piglin. I just have to lure him to the other ones. Okay, I'm slowly moving the other piglin. I had to make a whole trail because he keeps running back. Okay, the penguin's here. Okay, all the piglins are in the hole now, so I will be trading as fast as possible. Okay, the piglins just finished trading all of the gold I gave them, and I got 43 string, which should be enough to finish the carpet. The first thing I have to do is get all of my materials back to get ready to go finish the grinder. And the second thing I have to do is enchant this pickaxe and see if I can get silk touch. Okay, I did get silk touch, so I can go mine that off the block too. And I hope this works. Okay, I think it did. It'll be in the chest waiting for us. And I'm not gonna mine the block right now. I also have to get some more food since I am completely out. Okay, I got over a stack of food and I have to go get the wheat and breed the cows again because I took out a good portion of them. All right, I got it all the way back up to the top and now I will place the carpet. I think something like this will be okay, hopefully. All right, I placed a bunch of random carpet. I'm not sure if it'll work, but it's better than nothing. And now I'm gonna finish placing the slab roof and the grinder will be done. All right, and I'm finally done with the slab roof. Now it's time to go test and see if anything even spawns if I go down there. Okay, well, it looks like it is indeed working. And that's a pretty good source of XP too. I'm gonna place these trap doors because I feel like it makes it a little bit safer, but I might be wrong. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to get some hoppers because my inventory is full. And then if we get some hoppers, it can all be saved below. All right, I'm gonna place more chests later, but for now I'm just gonna place four hoppers and one chest, just like that. And there we go. And I can probably have some ladders here. So just like this will be fine. Now everything is working good. All right, I think I'm gonna mine the block and maybe do some enchanting and upgrading villagers since I have infinite XP basically now. And I think I have like inf infinite bone meal, especially if I use my looting sword to kill these guys. So yeah, all around that it is a very awesome thing that I decided to build that. I think I should try to get a mending villager. That's probably a very important step too, for all my tools cannot break. So I'm gonna go make a lectern and probably try to roll a villager until he gets mending. Right, I'm ready to move a villager, but I also realized that I should probably give these guys up here some more bread because I think I only have like three villagers in there and three villagers is not a lot. I right, have 15 bread to this guy, 
16 bread to that guy. All right, I think they picked it up correctly. So now it is time to move a villager. All right, there we go. Now I just do like this. Yeah, I see villagers at the heart. So more villagers are coming soon. <laughs> I'm also gonna make all of these guys over here librarians, probably. Let's break that minecart. I gotta get up though. All right, there we go. The villager is trapped. And now I just re-roll him until I get a mending book, which usually takes a while. So I will see when I finally get it. All right, I just got a mending book and it is 18 emeralds, which I feel like is pretty cheap actually. And I'm gonna have to put on my sword. Hopefully it doesn't cost too many levels. Okay, three. That is not a lot. Definitely pretty good deal. I hopefully will get a diamond sword later that's better but for now i have to use this iron one because my diamond one was not getting good enchants and it looks like my whole farm is close to growing all by itself i will harvest a sugar cane since it's grown and i think i'm gonna go repair my sword and see what mob drops i get for fun too Ooh, I actually hear an iron golem i'm gonna check how much iron i have out of curiosity all right i got three stacks that's a lot i'm just gonna leave it in there for now probably well i've only been here for like 20 seconds and my sword is already repaired so i'm just gonna mine the block for a couple minutes now i got another donkey hmm i should probably try to move him i hope sheep can still spawn i kind of forget if they do or not because i could repopulate my sheep okay move the donkey behind these fence for now that's all i'm gonna do since i actually have iron now i'm gonna make some iron armor because i do not want to die and i've been being pretty careful but the iron armor will help me I may not have to be as careful too I guess I will just continue mining the block for now. Maybe I can get to the next phase. Is the next phase the end or is it phase nine? I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Okay, phantoms. Interesting. I guess I can get some phantom membrane from them, which can be used to repair elytra and make a certain type of potion, I think. But overall, they're not very useful. Oh, a monster party is spawning. Okay, bees. What the heck? I mean, bees do some damage, but they're pretty easy. I can probably just bail this phantom down. And I need to eat. Just realized. All right, there's the phantom. And then I have some very easy slimes. And there's a phantom stuck right there. I also have to rebuild this because I guess it just destroys all of it, which is definitely not nice. Okay, there we go. The monster party is gone. Okay, a couple more phantoms. All right, one of them are already gone. All right, this guy has one more hit left. There we go. Now I'm just back to mining. The name tag's in there. Nice. Villagers can give you name tags though, so I guess it's not that good. All right, I'm gonna take a break from mine a block and try and get some diamond armor traits from villagers maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna need about three stone. And then I need one regular furnace and five iron. All right, and that should be the craft. And I could go try and get it to a villager now. All right, I got the villager in the minecart. I have six slabs, which is barely enough. And like always, I just push the villager in. Then I will give him his job item. Okay, the first trait is emeralds for boots which i have to do since i don't have coal and that takes up all my emeralds okay well all right i used the mob from for a bit and i got four stacks of rotten flesh so hopefully this gets me some emeralds that is not a lot of emeralds also how did this villager get 20 bread he was throwing it around i guess i'll just put it in this chest for now i think i might mine some wood because that could probably give me some emeralds before i cut down trees though, i just remembered i have a bunch of iron so i'm gonna try and trade it with the villagers and see what happens well this guy's trade is locked i can trade with this guy and i can buy some more boots since uh, it's discounted anyway and hopefully he unlocks the iron trade then i can get more emeralds okay there's no iron trade is that normal it probably is it's only one emerald okay that was still really expensive well i'm out of emeralds and nobody has anything i can trade so i'm gonna try and get some sticks i guess all right just collect a bunch of wood and now i can trade it with the fletcher okay he locked his trade so i guess i'll just have to wait this only costs one so i might as well level him up real quick because it might change if i wait hopefully there's okay there's some diamond armor now but i don't have emeralds to buy it the fletcher already unlocked his trade though so i can get some more emeralds I think I will just keep mining the block for a minute or two. Ooh, a chest with a saddle in it and a cake. I'll take the saddle, but... Ooh, the block's upgrading in 90 seconds. I wonder if the phase is the end or what phase is next. Also, I tried to build this so it wouldn't get corrupted by the portal, but I feel like if the end portal spawns, my build is going to disappear, but maybe I'm wrong. I also have to get back up before it upgrades. 15 short seconds are left. I uh, hope it's the end. I think end is 9 and then maybe the infinite block is at phase 10 or something. I don't really know. But I guess we're about to find out because there's one second left. Okay, 
Phase 9 is desolate land, so I guess there's one more phase left before the end. Stone break is very interesting, but I'm gonna stop mine left for now and do something else probably. I went ahead and bought these feather falling boots since I probably won't enchant them anyway. And I found some free emeralds hidden somewhere. And I might buy this axe and enchant it. But I'm out of emeralds now, which kind of sucks. All right, I'm gonna enchant the axe. On breaking three, I probably should re-enchant it. I kind of want efficiency. Okay, silk touch. Maybe one more time, one hurt. Okay, that is even worse. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. So fortune, unbreaking, and efficiency. And I will add mending to all of it at some point, but not now. It seems like there's a good amount of dirt in this block, so I might be able to expand the animal area with all of it. Okay, there's two creepers that spawn from the block. That's definitely not cool, but I can build them down and they shouldn't be able to explode. Okay, there we go. I defeated both of them and I can get back to mining. A bat spawn egg. That's interesting. Okay, a bunch of skeleton horses just spawned and they're shooting each other. Very interesting. I'm not sure where the other ones went. <laughs> One of them is in the water down there. I don't know if he's stuck or what. Also, the cave spiders are still alive. Oops, sorry horse. I think the other one must have found the void. Okay, a charged creeper spawned. I think I'm just gonna bow him. I could probably take him somewhere. I think that's how you get mob skulls from charged creepers. I don't have a totem or anything, so I don't know how to get him to explode without dying. So yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him to death. That's not very nice that they put that in the one block. That's pretty dangerous, actually. Okay, there's a vex summoner here. So I just gotta run away and get them from a distance and carefully. Well, it took me a while, but I think I got all the vex. Wait, are those bees? Dude, the bees are in the void. Why are they all the way down there? Anyways, I'm gonna keep mining the block now. Okay, I also got a panda spawn egg. That's pretty cute. I wonder how much dirt that I've got from the block so far. I'm gonna check. All right, looks like it's two stacks. And I also got a totem at some point. Nice. I think I'm gonna go mine some gold because it's good to trade with, so... Well, I've been mining gold for a while and I just found another bastion, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to loot it. Okay, I'm gonna go down now since I looted all those chests. And there's some piglins waiting for me. Okay, it looks like everything else is clear though. This is kind of a bad chest. And this one is even worse. I can block this guy off and get him like this. And the chest has nothing in it again. Some bone blocks, I guess. I'm just burning them with lava. I think that's all of them for now. Are there any chests down here? I don't think so. But I might as well go check. Okay, there weren't any chests, but... There are some piglin birds up here. Well, I'm at the bottom of the bastion, but I haven't lost a totem yet. There are a lot of piglins though. And these guys have a bunch of health. Okay, it seems like there's only a couple left. I ran out of arrows, so I can't shoot them anymore either. All right, so I'm almost at the bottom and I can steal all the loot, but there are some piglins there. So I have to be careful. I guess something's hitting me. It's a hoglin. Okay, this guy only has a couple hits left. Then I should be good to loot everything. But I could build some walls to be extra safe. Oh yeah, and break the magma cube spawner. Because it's very annoying. Alright, now I can get the gold. I'll check the chest after. Okay, sharp just three diamond sword and five diamonds. Nice. And another red ingot. I also got a refill on arrows. And this chest has some boots. And a plain diamond sword. I'm not sure. I have to decide how to store my inventory. And two ancient debris, which I should probably take. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back home now because I think I got everything worth getting. Okay, I'm back home and I need some food and I need to trade with some villagers. And I can also harvest all of my crops, so I'm gonna do that. Can't trade iron, I guess. That's pretty unfortunate. But I can trade gold with only one of the clerics. Yeah, it looks like he's locked too. I did get some emeralds and I got lots of extra gold. And now I also should feed all the cows because I'm gonna get some more beef from them too. Actually, I should probably get the beef first. Okay, 57 should be enough for now, so I'm just gonna breed them till I cannot anymore. This looks like a donkey got in here somehow. That's kind of stupid, because I'm gonna accidentally feed him some wheat, but that's okay. He's probably hungry. And I'm literally trapped in this corner from the cows. I actually can't move. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can't move again. There's too many cows in this place. I can also trade with my Fletcher again, so let me do that. Okay, 46 emeralds total. It's starting to look a lot better for me. I should probably get some more wood since Fletchers always have their trades open. I could give you more Fletchers. I could also expand my area down there. And on top of that, I think I have enough wood to, or dirt, to expand the animal farm too. So let me fix this tree. There must be a block that I left because this has been here for a while. Okay, well, I'm probably just going to chop down a bunch of trees because, yeah, like I said, Fletchers are really OP, it seems like. Okay, I was farming wood yesterday and I got... 
three and a half stacks almost. I'm gonna mine a little bit more and then trade with the Fletcher and try buy some diamond armor probably. All right, I got a bunch of wood. So now it is time to trade some sticks and then I'm gonna make another armor villager or whatever they're called. And now I have over a stack of emeralds. The Fletcher did lock his trades, but he's been unlocking them really fast. So maybe they're already unlocked. Okay, not yet. I do need to move another villager though, so I will go ahead and do that. Okay, I got a villager in the minecart. So now I'll just push them over here. And they always go this way for some reason. Oh no, wait, I didn't finish it. Okay, there we go. We can break those rails and the minecart. Oops, I whacked the villager. That kind of sucks, because now it will be more expensive. Yeah, I'm just going to wait to trade with this guy, because these trades are way too expensive. I'll just move somebody else. Okay, I got a third villager. It's still really expensive. I feel like this guy was... Yeah, this guy was four emeralds. I guess that's the same. No, this is seven and I guess I can re-roll it though. Maybe it's just more expensive since it's a better armor piece. And I do need a chest plate and helmet, so maybe I should get a villager that has those. Okay, my item literally got stuck behind here. Okay, I got a helmet and a chest plate. And I will buy the helmet a bunch of times. Okay, there goes literally all my emeralds. That kind of sucks. I just checked and I can trade gold again, so I might as well do that for free emeralds. Yeah, this guy's iron is locked and this guy's iron is locked. So that's pretty lame. It looks like this guy's not going to unlock his gold too. So, ooh, this guy has an iron trade though. That's awesome. So I guess they can have it. It's just a chance. I got to get rid of all these helmets. And now there's some chainmail for one. Looks like I only need four of those. Okay, he unlocked the other trades and it's literally just diamond leggings and more boots. So this guy is kind of useless except for the iron. I think I'm going to buy a pair of diamond pants though and go enchant it. So... I will be less likely to die. Okay, first try enchanting. Okay, protection three and breaking three is definitely good enough. And I can also enchant these diamond boots because maybe I could get something to combine with. Okay, the first enchant sucked. There's fire protection, depth strider. I already have those enchantments though. I was looking for protection and breaking hopefully, but I only have one try left. Okay, protection three and breaking three is good enough. So let me just combine that in the anvil. 11 levels is a lot. Okay, I just crafted some books because the next thing I'm going to try and do is get mending for uh, all of the tools that I have. It's 18 emeralds for one book. Let's go see if the Fletcher can trade more sticks yet. Okay, he can. So let's get all my sticks ready. Okay, locked his trades, but I got like almost 32 emeralds, I think. And we still have plenty of wood left for when he decides to unlock those. Okay, so now we'll buy a couple of mending books. I need one for my pants, one for my boots, and then two for my tools for now. So I need four which I can only get three, but I will be able to afford four soon. Especially because the cleric seems like he unlocked his gold. Let's go see if the other guy did. He didn't, and I don't know why. I just need to make another ward for him still, because I think it will help me with the trades a lot. But I think I can buy another mending book. Okay, yes, barely. So now let me go combine all of these to my tools and armor. All right, I did my armor, and now for my axe and shovel. Okay, there we go. Now I just need a chest plate and helmet, which I can't get for a while since the villagers were being stubborn. I can probably go get some XP from the mob farm to get level 30 again though, and I'll get some rod and flesh too that I could trade. So I'm gonna AFK here for like one or two or three minutes and then kill all the mobs and see what I get. Okay, it's probably only been like 40 seconds, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill all the mobs with my looting sword. And I will let all my tools get repaired. Okay, from all those mobs, it seems like I got almost a stack of rotten flesh. So that's not actually that good. Okay, all of my tools are repaired and I have a stack so I can trade it now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because maybe the clerics just lock their trades or villagers in general lock their trades when you only are using one of them. So if I trade rotten flesh with the other guy, he might trade me gold again. Okay, my Fletcher is also unlocked so I can go ahead and trade all my sticks. Okay, my inventory is really full, but there we go. I can craft some more sticks too. And I'm already... Okay, well, he locked his trade, but I'm already back up to 18, which is awesome. But I'm getting close to running out of wood, so maybe I'll just go ahead and mine some more. So I have a nice steady supply. Yeah, this guy hasn't unlocked his gold trade yet, but this guy has. This guy really wants to trade gold. So I'll go ahead and trade him some more. Thank you, villager. I'm at 30 emeralds now. I think it is probably time that I try and make that nether wart farm I was talking about. And the way that I'm going to do that is just probably right here. I don't really have any nether warts, so for now, I'll just do this and I will finish it later. But yeah, it'll just be something like this. Small and easy. Can you bone meal nether rack? I actually don't know. Let me go check. For some reason, I don't think you can, but that wouldn't make sense. Like, you should be able to. Okay, you can't. I was right. That's crazy. This guy also unlocked his iron, so I'm going to have to go get some more because I want to take advantage of that. And I guess I'll see how much the iron golem farm has generated since I last checked it. Which I feel like was pretty recently and it had three stacks. Right now it has like 
two stacks in it. I forget if I left some in there though. But either way, I'm gonna go trade some of this. Oh wait, I traded with this guy again and he unlocked the upper half. Maybe that's how it works. Okay, well, I can go ahead and buy one of both of those with all the emeralds I got. And for now I can wear it, but we're gonna have to re-enchant both of those because they both suck. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and attempt once again to see if I can get village that trades quartz. I've wasted so many villagers on trying this, but quartz are just so easy to get, so I hope it works. Ooh, that's the wrong way. Well, actually, I have to expand my villager place. Well, I guess I could actually put another guy here, especially since... No, wait, we want to put him in this one, since that's where his friends are at. I guess I gotta push him all the way back here and move the rail to right there, I think. At first, I was only planning on having three villagers per booth, but maybe I can have five in one. Okay, why did the villager move? What the heck? That's not very nice. Yeah, if I want to have more than that, I think I need to change the how I keep them here. So I will have something like this. And yeah, that works. So you cannot get out. Okay, now all the villagers should still be stuck. Okay, well, it looks really bad, but there we go. Now I can hold another villager. But yeah, I have to give him his item. I'm gonna need some more emeralds to be able to upgrade that guy. And the Fletcher unlocked his trade, so I can get a little bit more. But I'm also about to run out of wood, so. Okay, I have 47 emeralds now, so I just have to buy the rest of the bricks to unlock this guy. I don't know why it's so expensive. If this guy doesn't give me what I want, I might spleef him in the void. Okay, I'm joking. That's awful. I wouldn't do that. But it is annoying that these people aren't giving me a quartz trade. And they should have one. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this guy has one again. That's really annoying. My sugar cane is grown. I'm gonna have to make a way bigger sugar cane farm because that could give me lots of easy emeralds too. Because I could just have a bunch of librarians. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and collect wood for two different reasons. Number one is for fletching. And number two is because I want to expand the farms because I got more dirt. So I'm just gonna probably collect wood for the rest of the day now. Okay, I collect some wood, but before I expand the other area, I'm gonna go ahead and expand the nether wart place a bit. Or not even expand it, just finish building it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, which is fine. I will place the soul sand in. Then I have to wait for the nether wart to grow. I can probably go to the nether to get some more to speed up the process though. Also, one other thing I have to do is make sure that this place is lit up. Because I don't want any monsters spawning and jumping into my head and exploding my chests. That would be really bad. Okay, I'm going to start expanding this. But the first step is to build the wood outline over here. Because I'm going to have to have it ready for all the mobs to just jump out. It's going to be really crazy when that happens. I think I'll go ahead and expand this one by five again too since I don't have that much dirt. Okay, that's five blocks. And then I will have to bridge all the way to the other end. Okay, and it is finished just like that. I also have to add the one high fence right here. And then I have to also actually add these. And I'm going to make a bunch of fence. Okay, a stack and a half of fence should be more than enough to finish this. And now I'll go get the dirt after I place all the fence. Should I let the cows up here or should they be like separate? I'm not sure yet. I might just let the cows in so they have like two layers. I don't know. I have two stacks of dirt and like 20 extra. I don't think that's going to be enough to build all of this out. So I'm going to have to mine the block some more. Or get a wandering trader to trade with. The first thing I'll expand is this cow spot though. Okay, the next thing I have to find out before I let the animals in is how I'm going to do these fence. So maybe I'll just do this. Okay, well, I already found it out, I guess. That looks really good too. And then I will expand the panda and polar bears pen first. I also did have enough uh, dirt Okay, this should be enough stairs too for the whole thing. Then the grass will slowly spread, but for now, it's dirt up there. I'm gonna have to get a block with Silk Touch. Well, I have my Silk Touch pickaxe in my inventory, so there's one. And maybe I can get two. Okay, there we go. So I can pip one on this end, and then we'll pip one all the way on the other end. And then I will do... Well, actually, I can't do that fence yet because those cows are really annoying. Oh yeah, I'll still have to let everything up so monsters don't spawn. I'm mostly going to break the fence where the donkeys and horses live. And I think, okay, yeah, I did place the block right there. I think I threw my stairs out by accident. I did. I need to place them right here. Oh, the donkey already came up here. That's so cute. Okay, and that's for this mob, which I guess I'll just break it because they probably need more room, to be honest. Oh my gosh, the random donkey. Okay, can Mushroom Cows not jump? Okay, no, they're jumping slowly. Everyone get up. Okay, well, I'll just come back later because they're slowly going to go up there probably. And then once they do, I will place all the fence and keep breeding them. Well, I just came over to my villagers and there's zombie villagers now. So that probably means 
this place is dark enough for a zombie to spawn. And he corrupted three of my villagers. So I guess I'm going to have to make sure all of it's lit up. And I'm going to have to brew a weakness potion to get those guys back. I got them going to FK and grind them out for him for a minute so I can enchant my chest plate and helmet. And then I can also put some endy on them and my armor will be complete. Alright, it's the next day and I'm just laying mobs stack up still. And I'm trying to get it to level 33 so I can get one enchant on both my pieces. And then if I need more XP, I can always come back. Which I probably will have to since I don't think I'll get what I want within one enchant. Okay, there's level 33. Now it's time to see what I get. And then I think I'll do the helmet first. Okay, protection 3, I'm breaking 3. That's okay. And protection 3 is not good. We need unbreaking. I think I'll keep the helmet though since there's not really water or anything. So respiration or aqua affinity would be pretty useless. So I just need to go get level 30 to try the chest plate again. Okay, I'm going to try and try my chest plate again since I got level 30. But I'm feeling like I'm going to get something garbage. Okay, it was fire protection. I probably shouldn't have enchanted it, but I was not paying attention. So level 30 once again. Okay, I think this is the third attempt. Okay, never mind. This is fire protection. I'm gonna have to go get another level, but it is unbreaking three. I'm so close to level 30. Maybe I can actually just go get some XP from the cows. Okay, I should be able to get XP from this villager, but I guess actually it was technically the same amount of time to walk there. Training with a villager is more fun than waiting for mobs to spawn, and I think this is going to be the enchant that gets me what I want. Okay, protection 3 and breaking 3 is good. I think that's probably the best you can get. I don't know if you can get protection 4 and breaking 3 from one level 30 enchant, but maybe you can. I don't actually remember. The last thing I need to do with my armor is get mending for my helmet and chest plate. And I do have enough emeralds to do that. Okay, there's one and two books. And it looks like the mushroom cows have started to go up. But I don't know, they want to go down. They're acting pretty weird. Also, is this wandering trader permanent? Because Lewis is still on my island. Too bad he doesn't sell anything useful. And finally, there is mending for my chest plate and helmet. And now I have a full set of tools and armor except for the sword. And a lytra, but I might get that later. Because I haven't locked the end yet. One of the nether ward grew, so I got four from breaking it and I replanted all of them. I wonder if I should get more from the nether or just wait. It is a hard decision. These leaves are also stuck up here, I think because they're touching a log, which is kind of stupid, but it's whatever. And I'm not sure where I'm going to build my sugarcane farm because I should probably build it soon but I just don't know a good spot. Okay, for now, for today, I'm gonna be mining the block. I got another chest, but this loot is really bad. Maybe I am supposed to be breaking the block faster, but I feel like I've been breaking the blocks so slowly. Okay, some, oh no, I almost got blown up by those creepers, but I think he fell off the map. What happened? Oh, he's in the sorting system. Okay, let's just pretend he's not there. Okay, I should probably shoot him to death because I don't want him to explode, especially near the chests. I should get some more arrows in case another one spawns. I think I'm gonna get some more XP before I mine the block to get a better crossbow. Since I'm sure more creepers will be spawning in other mobs that could destroy me. And having a crossbow to shoot them from a range will be helpful. And it'll be fun to use. Okay, I just got level 33, which is enough for two enchantments of my crossbow. And hopefully I get good things and I can keep mining the block. The first level 30 enchant got piercing 4, unbreaking 3, quick charge 2. Okay, I don't even know if we can get anything better than that. So I guess I would just keep that and repair it in an anvil with another crossbow. And I can add mending onto it later. For now, it will be okay though. I wonder how much faster it shoots. Okay, that is significantly faster. Oh, one thing that I could get on it is probably power. But yeah, I'll do that a different time because it's almost nighttime. I spent the whole day enchanting my bow. But tomorrow I will mine the one block. Maybe we can get to the next phase. Well, I was just mining the block and a monster party is here. So I've got to be careful. Okay, those are a lot of mobs that are spawning. Let's get this silverfish. And I guess I'm just ignoring this skeleton next to me for now. Wait, how did the cave spider get up there? Okay, there's a Vex trying to get me. I'll put my totem in my offhand just in case, but I have diamond armor now. Okay, well, the only mobs left just like ran away or something, so I'll probably just keep mining the block. Okay, a bunch of skeleton horse spawn too, but these guys don't even do anything. They just leave behind a bunch of skeleton horses. <laughs> I just realized there's still a bee down there. It must be glitched. I wonder if I can hit it. I don't know if it's real. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm back to mining the block. Okay, there's a charged creeper on the loose. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, Vex summoner spawned. <laughs> That's not very nice, because Vex are so annoying for no reason. Okay, well, all of them are already gone. No, he spawned more. That's why I hate this guy so much. Also, they're so hard to hit. If they were just a little bit bigger, it wouldn't even be that bad. 
Another Vex Summoner spawn. I forget what they're actually called. Okay, there's a totem here though, so I'm gonna pick it up. It doesn't actually fall into the void. And I can probably just shoot the rest of Vex down. I just found a witch spawn egg in a chest, which could come in really handy since witches drop a lot of random useful blocks or items. But yeah, I don't know if it works spawning mobs in the nether. Because I used the turtle egg, but no turtles were spawning. But it might just be because they're turtles. I don't know if they can even spawn in the nether. Or maybe they need a certain light or block and I didn't try that. But if witches did work and they did have a useful item, then maybe that would be worth setting up. Okay, well, the box is upgrading in 100 seconds. I think the next phase is the end, but I'm not sure when I'm going to battle the dragon. Maybe I'll do it now or maybe I'll wait a little bit, but maybe it's not the dragon yet. Just in case it is the dragon though, I'm going to watch from right here to see if it destroys the portal or the water elevator that I made because I think the portal spawns below the block. Okay, the block is upgrading in six seconds. Is it the end and does it destroy everything? Okay, it is the end, but there's no portal yet. So you must have to mine a little bit more to get to the portal. I think that's how it works, actually, then. I guess I'll just mine for a little bit longer, then, and see if I can get the end portal to spawn. I'm gonna harvest my sugarcane and wheat since it's all grown. I still plan on making a sugarcane farm, but I don't really know where to put it, so... Once I figure that out, though, we'll make one, and we'll have another way to get emeralds. And maybe I could make an emerald beacon. I think I'm gonna try to bring their cows again too. Maybe I can get some of them to come up here. And it also gives me some XP, which I could use to maybe get a better crossbow. Or maybe even my diamond sword that I've been waiting for. Okay, I decided it's finally time to build the sugarcane farm, so I'm gonna get started on that. And the first step is to pick a spot for it. And actually, I feel like I could just make it next to the sugarcane below the staircase. I can also break this nether wart and replant it so I can keep growing more and more of it. These pieces aren't grown yet though, I think it's one step away. For now, I'm just gonna build 24 blocks on two sides with water in the middle. Wait, I just realized I can't do that because sugarcane needs a block directly next to it. And there's no water on this block. So I could have some on this block and then I could have two sand here. Okay, yeah, that's how I'll do it. This will be above the tree farm, but honestly, I'm gonna probably move the tree farm soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I need to grab some more wood, and I need to get some torches, because I do not want mobs spawning and falling on the chest and exploding like I said earlier. That would be the worst thing that could possibly happen. Okay, I finished the general outline, so now I just need to place some wood. And this block will actually be water, so I think I have to do this. Yeah, that is good. Now I have to also break a bunch of leaves. Do I have wood somewhere? I kind of forget if I do, but I only have four logs left, so I have to go check. Okay. Oh, I think it's because I have Death Strider. I keep falling out of this water. Because I've been trying to go up the water stream lately, and I just fly out of it. But yeah, my boots have Death Strider now, so that is probably why I cannot swim. And yeah, it seems like I am out of wood, so I guess I have to mine some before I plant the sugar cane. I thought I had some somewhere, though. I guess not. Oh my gosh, there's literally a creeper down here. Okay, that's it. Once again, if wood, I'm breaking all of this. I'm just gonna make the wood place above ground. I'll probably make it next to the villager since it will look nice anyway like that. And I do not want creepers falling on my head, so that's not nice. Okay, I chopped down a bunch of the oak trees, so I think I can start building now. Also, I have to pick these top blocks because I want these leaves to despawn. For now, I'm just gonna place the wood like this since I will most likely end up expanding this. But for now, I'm not going to expand it. It's just going to be like this. I also have to break these leaves now too, probably, since they're touching the wood again. Okay, that should be good. And then I will plant this water. <laughs> I mean, place the water. You can't plant water, unfortunately. Water doesn't grow on trees. Okay, I just finished placing all the water. So now I will get some sugar cane and plant all of that. The cows are really loud since I'm right uh, below them, but I can't really do anything about that. I mean, I don't care that much. It's just kind of funny. Okay, now all of the sugarcane is planted and I will just have to wait for it to grow. There's also one more thing I could do though to make this farm just a little bit better. And that is to make some trap doors so that we can walk across every single block like this. Okay, perfect. This farm is better than anything I could ask for. It is perfect. I also have to place some... Okay, I did not mean to fall. I was saying I should place some torches because I don't want monsters to spawn. I just don't know how to place the torches. I could probably have a block in the middle like this too. Monsters should not be able to spawn here. I doubt it. And for this farm, I need to get all the dirt because I'm done growing trees here. 
Okay, so the trees will be over here somewhere. I just need to make one more villager booth on each side in case I ever need it. Okay, booth number one is almost done. The hardest part about building these is just getting the water placed underneath. But except for that, it's actually pretty easy. Okay, there's one and we need one on this side too. But it uh, looks like I'm out of wood, so I need to grow some more. I guess I'll have to replace one block down there. And I'll probably just get a stack or two of wood and then stop. Okay, I collected more wood and what I will be doing today is finishing this path and expanding the island, or I should say expanding the line, a couple more blocks. Okay, that should be enough of an expansion for now. And I will have to finish this too. I just need to place a couple more logs sideways before I can make these villager booths. Yeah, I just need to do it two more times. Okay, I forgot to pick the fence on this side. Looks like I forgot to pick up my water. And I need to get this again. And I actually can't get the fence from there, I guess. Now it is done. Well, I mean, I need to do the insides of these still. But since those were created, I can now decide what I'm going to do for the platform next to them. I think I will probably have like at least a five gap in between. Just in case I also want to do something in the future. That means I have to water bucket down two more times. But I'll do that later. I don't want to do it right now. Okay, I changed my mind. I should do it right now. And I guess I can actually do both of them in one swoop. Okay, something just like that would be good. And then I will have probably just a slab platform. Well, to be honest, I would like if it was cobblestone, like this stone palette. It's just those stones are really hard to get, but it looks so much better. But before I do or decide anything, I have to place these torches as well, because I definitely do not want mobs spawning. That would be really annoying. So I guess the first thing I have to do is just go out a maybe 11 blocks. Okay, I think something like this will be pretty good. It's like an 11 by 11 platform. And I think we'll be able to grow a couple of tr good trees on them. But I am out of stone and stuff now, so I'll probably have to build a cobblestone generator somewhere. I think I'm going to try to make a setup for that down here. Ooh, it looks like the nether wart is also grown. <laughs> or at least a couple of it is. Yeah, look at all that new growth. Okay, for the generator, I'm probably going to build it away from the wood. Just in case it catches on fire by accident. <laughs> and right here should be okay. So the first thing I need is a little bit of a platform to stand on. And the design I'm thinking of will basically just be three lava, maybe in a row, and a chest and hoppers to pick it all up. But I do need to expand this more. Okay, so it'll be something like this. I'll mine like right here, and then there will be water and lava. I think that's how it works. I need some normal cobblestone blocks. Okay, so let me place through cobble here for now. And then water goes like this. And the lava also needs some blocks right here. And let's just see if this works. Okay. Uh, it didn't work. Okay, I think instead I need to place the water on these blocks. Okay, I guess I need another water from my water source, which is up there. Okay, then I gotta get one more water. I should probably also get some ladders here so it's easier to get up. And I'm gonna make this look a little bit nicer just like that. Hopefully this works, because if not, it's gonna be pretty hard to break. This thing is ugly. <laughs> One more thing I need to do to finish this though is to go get some lava buckets. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Okay, I just got back to my base and I have the three lava. So I'm going to replace this, place the water there, and then place all the lava and hope that it works. So I would stand here and mine all three. Okay, and yeah, it does work now. I could probably actually make it longer than three blocks, but for now, three blocks will do just fine. And if I keep doing this, I can eventually afford to make a bunch of stone. I already have over a stack of cobble in here too, so I'm probably just gonna mine this for a couple minutes and then go expand the tree area that I was building. Okay, I mined cobblestone for a bit and I have a pretty good amount of slabs, so I'm gonna go ahead and go build the area where I'm gonna plant the trees. I just finished building it, but this doesn't really look like a square, so I'm gonna recount it. I think I counted wrong earlier. Okay, it took me a while, but I think I came up with a design that I like for the trees to be planted in. It's like two blocks from the corners, and there's like a pretty good amount of blocks between all of them. And I think there'll be another wood rail around it since I like how those look. But I also have to light them up, so maybe every three blocks for a torch. Or just every other block to make sure nothing spawns. Okay, now we have a good spot to plant trees. Okay, so I'm back, and honestly, I think it's day 76 now or something? But last night I was talking to my partner and they told me that my build sucked. So they gave me some pointers and showed me what I should make it look like to make it look a little bit better. And I think I'm going to renovate my base before the 100 days are over. Since, I mean, I don't know, I guess my base does look pretty bad. 
I thought this design looked cool, but I could definitely make it better in some ways, which I'm going to try to do. And I think I'm also going to revamp the villager area completely. But before doing any of that, I should probably collect some wood since I'll need more of it. So I'm going to go grab some saplings and use the new wood tree farm area. All right, I'm ready to bone mill some trees. Hopefully the trees grow better in this place. And I have a better angle to break them because I'm one block below, not a half slab below. So technically, I should be able to break them faster than I was before, since I won't have to break one leaf every time. I don't know if that will save a lot of time, but hopefully it does. Okay, well, I collected about two stacks of oak logs, so I'm probably going to go get some cobblestone now from the cobble generator that I made. Because I'm also going to need a lot of that, since I think I'm going to make the path 5x5 five five now. Or 5 wide, I guess. 5x5 five five would be just a little square. I'll probably try to mine, like, I don't know, a lot of stacks of cobble, since... I have to smelt some of the stone. Okay, I probably just mined for about 10 minutes total, or maybe a little bit more. And I have plenty of cobblestone now to build what I want to build. I just gotta take a couple stacks and start smelting them into stone, since it does take a while. But I also just realized I don't think I have any charcoal. Well, the first thing to remodel is I'm gonna have to move these farms back one block. And I think I was gonna keep the design. So I will go ahead and remove this sugarcane for now. Ooh, I can also go check my sugarcane farm that I built because I haven't harvested it in a bit. Or I haven't harvested it at all yet. Ooh, it's all grown. And if I break every block, I get a little over a stack. And then the first thing I probably want to do is just build a new base right here. So I will place two blocks. There we go. And then I will basically just copy what I did right here all the way down to the other end. And I'll just remove the fence for now and keep them and replace them when it is time. Okay, then the second step is probably breaking all these trap doors. And then once all the trap doors are broken, I break these blocks. And then I just need to get some more slabs. You could probably guess, but the next step was to place the slabs like that. And then hopefully if I place this, yeah, all the blocks turn to water. And then all I have to do is mine this dirt. Actually, I just have to mine this single block of dirt. Ooh, I might lose a couple blocks here and there. Okay, I also have to break these blocks and make the pole here now, since I'm moving everything back one block exactly. And then I just reposition these three blocks like this. And then I can also just break all of these stairs, since I do not need them anymore. I'm probably going to use slabs, just because cobble looks a lot better. The wood looks a little bit repetitive, in my opinion. Okay, and then I need to place this block. And then once again, I break this and then place a slab. And since I got some more dirt for my chest too, I just place all the blocks right here. And then it's basically back to normal once I finish the trap doors. And I can also repeat that right here after I get all these blocks to be a water source. So let's go ahead and break the trap doors too so we can replace those. And then I break the dirt right here instead. Okay, now that everything is done, basically right here, I place all this dirt back. And then I kind of forget what I do next. I have to redo this fence post. All right, and perfect. Now just bring it all the way to the other side. Okay, I broke all of this line, so I just replace it with some slabs now. I'm also going to move all these back in this back one. So for now, it's probably going to look a little dumb, I guess. But eventually, it will make sense and it will look good. So this is kind of the design. It, looks, it will be five box wide now and a lot bigger and then i was thinking of doing slabs here so let's see how that looks yeah i'm not sure because you can see the grass i don't know if it looks as good but for now i'll leave it like that maybe i'll use stairs instead and then one more difficult thing i have to do is count some blocks real quick okay so this is the middle of it the plan was to have another path through the middle and I think I'll make it five wide too. But that means the form would be this big. So let's just check for one second what that would look like. Yeah, I mean, something like that. That's not too bad. So I will just make it go this way until I hit this block. And then I could just go up again. So I think I will try to work on finishing this path right here. Since it will probably take a bit. I have to rebuild all the farm corners again. Also, I just realized I never switched the recording, so this is technically the next day, and now it will switch to the next day officially. Oh no, I forgot I blocked my ladder off. I'll just leave a hole for now. Okay, right now this might not look that good, but once it's done, you guys will see the vision, and it will look a lot better. And there'll be more space, because to be honest, before there was no space. Okay, I just have one more line to build, which will be all the way to the end like this. Okay, and one more line, just like this on this side. And now that should be good. 
I just have to also place this block like that. Okay, now we need to destroy all of these things again. And then block the water off. And then completely destroy all of it. Because there's going to be a new path here. I gotta make sure I get this dirt though. Okay, I think I missed like two blocks. Alright, now that it is finished, I can go ahead and build the cobblestone right here. Add in some andesite. And then finish off with the stone. And now it looks something like this. The farms are probably a bit smaller, but we could always add some more. And then there will also be fence right here, I guess. And let me also finish the path, so just gotta place my random cobblestone bits. And then the andesite bits. I really like this palette of blocks. I think it looks really good. Okay, then we'll build another couple blocks out here. Yeah, I think I'll have a 5x5 five five going all the way around too, which will look really good. That's gonna be a lot of work, but look how much bigger the island is already. I should probably start thinking what I'm going to do for the villagers because that's going to be really hard to remake. But I know I'm going to break all of this most likely. Well, actually not all of this. I'll leave the fence. Oops. And then there will be the 5x5 path too, which will actually take up this entire lane. So these two villagers need a new home. And those villagers over there. I'm not going to do this side yet, but I guess I could go place these blocks down here so I'm ready to do it when I want to. Okay, there is one corner finished. Then I'll go do the other corner real quick. Gotta be careful I don't fall into the void. Okay, both of the corners are done now, so I'm gonna come back and do this part later. I think I want to do the villager area though, since it's gonna take a lot of thinking, and I don't know what the redesign will be yet. I think one good thing to start would be to make these things andesite and stone instead of the ugly wood because i just did that earlier because i was lazy i want the island to look good so i'm gonna not be lazy anymore if anybody has any building tips though feel free to leave them in the comments since or maybe if you have like a good building guide or something like just let me know because i would watch it and try to learn how to build better i love building it's just i don't think i'm that good at it but i'm sure i'll get better with these 100 days videos and another thing that was on the plans to do was to rebuild the villager area you know like give it a new look and everything too I'm just not sure how to do that. Should we do like a 5x5 five five wood box? Or maybe we just make it 3 high? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to do some thinking. I think I should also go make sure I have some stone and cobble melting. Because I'm gonna need more of that soon. Ooh, I found some nether water on my way down. Well, I didn't find it. But it looks like a lot of it is grown. So I'm gonna replant as much of it as I can. And we'll be able to use it for villager trading once we get more and more of it. Okay, we got 3 extra. Let me go plant over here. Okay, yeah, that is definitely a lot more than we had a second ago. And some of it already grew a lot. Yeah, we got two more stacks of stone and some more charcoal. So I'll put this stone away and let's start smelting another two stacks because we're going to eventually need it. And it does take a while to smelt, so we might as well get started. And I do need to make some more just cobblestone too for now. And this side is a little bit difficult to make, but you just use diorite and cobble. So and then you make diorite using quartz and cobble. So it takes a lot of cobblestone, but at least it's possible to get. So I like how they made that a crafting recipe in Minecraft. Okay, new day. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish the 5x5 five five on this side. Because I want you guys to be able to see what the grand plan for it is. And I'm also going to add more stuff soon. Like, I'm going to add some foliage and some greenery. Maybe when I redo the animal pens, I'll like really redo them and make like rocks and a little hill. I don't know what the plan is exactly yet, but I just know it's going to be a lot better than what it was before. So everybody comment thanks Annalise for the help because without the help, I would have no idea what I'm doing. I thought my build was really good, like the line idea. I was really proud of that idea to be honest with you guys. And I'm sure some of you guys liked it, but just wait. It's still going to be the line, it's just going to be a better line. Okay, here's what the path looks like so far. And I mean, yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to have to move my boat station to somewhere else. But if you can just roughly look, it will look so much bigger, there'll be a lot of space. And I think I could actually have like a leaf fence around this. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything official yet, but I could probably make a little leaf fence. That could look good. Okay, I'm done building the path for now, but I just did it all the way up to here. Since these villagers got to go before I do it again. I should probably get a hoe too and just replant this stuff before I can start growing. I'm going to break this for now. And you know, I actually think... Could I remove like all but one of these water blocks? And I think it would still grow. Okay, well, I'm going to try it. Yeah, I think this should be able to stay soiled, so... Because if it does, I could have six more blocks on each. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my cats are playing in the background. <laughs> Anyways, six more blocks in each would be six, 12, and then 12 plus 12 is 24. So 24 more blocks to grow stuff, if that works, which I think it does. 
I'm also gonna have to get rid of a lot of these mushrooms, but I'm gonna wait to do that. I'm not gonna do it yet. I am gonna remove all the wheat for now, since I'm gonna replant some carrots and potatoes when I regrow it. I'll keep all the seeds in here. Okay, I got a wood hoe, so I just gotta tilt all of this land now. And I can remove these blocks here with the one water source again. And I can probably place these spare fence I have, since I think that's the same fence design I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, and the torches. So I really don't want monsters to spawn still. Okay, and I will also do this wheat field over here. No, my wood hoe broke. I have to go make another one. Okay, there we go. It is officially all built. Well, actually, not all of it, but yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot to redo, but just look at it. It already looks so much better. I think I should start expanding this now. Well, I need more wood. I think I might be out of logs. Yeah, it does look like I'm out of logs. So I'm gonna go plant and grow and knock down some trees for a while. And I will see you guys when I'm done with that. I'm probably gonna collect, I don't know, one, four stacks of logs maybe, maybe five or six. It kind of just depends if my bone mill runs out, I guess, which it will. So let me go get some more. Okay, I got two stacks of bones from the mob grinder now. I'm just gonna knock down trees probably for the rest of the day, like I said before. Okay, I collect like two and a half more stacks of logs, which should be more than enough for now. And I'm gonna go keep expanding the mob area now. Yeah, it's just, I don't know how I'm gonna get all the mobs to move and not fall out. Like, I can kill most of the cows, like maybe all but like six or something. But then these animals are also a challenge, so I'm really just gonna have to think about it for a second, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I can just start building this one. So I just add the fence here like that. And then I can break these blocks and replace these. Then I can place the wood here. Like, I mean, the pandas are technically done now, kind of. Yeah, and then, I mean, maybe I just move the animals for now. I think that's actually the play. But where can I move all of the animals to? Maybe I could move these two villagers and then put all the animals, like, in this big area right here. That wouldn't be too bad. But if I want to do that, I have to move these two villagers. So, let me get some mine carts. Okay, here we go. So, I can place that there. And then the villager will loop under here. Oops, I... I keep breaking torches. That Monsters are going to spawn if I do that. And then I don't know where I'm going to pit the villagers, honestly. I need to find that out still. Okay, the first villager is being moved. Okay, yeah, that's fine for now. I just have to break the minecart. Then get the minecart, which sometimes is a big challenge. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here now. Because this villager is going to be really annoying. Okay, can you not do that? Okay. Okay, one more villager I have to move, which I will just move to, like, this spot. I know this looks ugly, but it is not permanent. I'm just trying to redo this stuff safely. Okay, then I break these two rails and reroute them to the cleric. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now I just need to block that guy in and we're done. So we have all this room for all of the animals. I think that's going to be more than enough room, to be honest. I'm also going to replace this with gates, just for it's a little bit easier. Okay, Mr. Cleric. Just please stay right there. Okay, now move all the animals. Let me go find my leads. Okay, I only have one lead somehow, so I'm just gonna make some more. I do not remember the crafting recipe though. I feel like it takes string. No? Okay, let me Google it. Okay, well, I guess I need four pieces of string. I'm sure I have one laying around somewhere though. Oh yeah, I have two cobweb. I can just break that. Okay, now I can have three leads, which is more than enough probably. I'm gonna start by moving the mobs that I can lead, which is everyone but the panda, because the panda wants to be different or something. I wonder why you can't leave the panda. Is there like a real reason that makes sense? Somebody leave it in the comments if you know. Okay, I'll bring two horses too. Everybody, come on. My lead snapped off one of them. Uh, so I guess I didn't really think this through because I need to build gates. I had three more animals, come on. Oh, so it would mean a lot if you guys like didn't run out the gates that are left open. Just everybody, there's no gates open here. Just pretend they're not there. Okay, one more horse, two more horse. Now get all three of those little donkeys. Hey, okay, come on, you guys. I'm almost done, actually. Just three donkeys, which will probably be a little bit hard to get in there if I now that I think about it. Since that thing's getting really full. Okay, just please everyone come in. Nobody run out. Okay, I don't know where my leads went. And the llama's running away. Okay, why did the other llama just book it for the exit too? Dude, come on. Okay, I moved everybody but the panda bear. So let me just push him now. Donkey, what are you doing next to that gate, dude? Stop it. Okay, everybody's in there now except the mushrooms, but I can move the mushrooms separately. And let me find the 5x5 five five spot. Okay, it'll be right here, right here, right here, right here, and right there. I don't have any stone blocks right now, though, so for now, I will place two here. Dude, come on, I keep misplacing it. One there. And then I can keep rebuilding this as well. Let me jump down here. Okay, I fell. Okay, attempt number two. Okay, I fell again. I should probably stop doing that. Attempt number three. Okay, I got it. Okay, and then this should be the new fence post. That looks good. I can also break all these old fence gates and just replace this with wood slabs for now since I have to make more stone ones. 
I can also make these wood, I guess. Yeah, and it looks like we only need one water each, so we have a lot more blocks to plant seeds on. I'm also just gonna get rid of this bamboo in the in-between fence on these for now. Okay, so this is what the area would be, well, excluding these five blocks. So this is what the new area would kind of look like. It would just be this right here. And actually, I feel like it should be bigger than this. Like, all the horses and panda and polar bear cannot fit in this little thing. So I'm not really sure what to do, because how do I add more space? It won't be the same as the other side. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about it. I might take a break from this animal area and then build something else for now. Because I don't know, there's just definitely is enough room for all those animals. Okay, since I'm not sure what to do over there, I'm probably just gonna mine the block for now since I could probably go beat the dragon. And I could get some shulker boxes which will help me build anyway since my inventory is always full. Well, it turns out all my chests are full, so I have to actually empty this stuff. I'm gonna be losing a bunch of items. Okay, I organized a bunch of my chests and threw some random blocks out that I don't really need. And now I'm just gonna keep binding and see if the end portal spawns. That is a lot of endermites. Okay, there's a monster party spawning. Okay, it doesn't look that hard so far. Okay, it's just a bunch of endermites. Okay, they're still spawning. Okay, I think I finally killed all of the endermen. They just teleport away and they hide somewhere. And it's kind of annoying. And I can also rebuild my item sorter. And there we go. I had just enough wood blocks. I think I'm also gonna refill my arrows in case more stuff spawns, cause I only had 11. Wow, a musical chest. The day is almost over and I've got a lot of materials from this block so far, and there's no end yet, but I think it's probably coming pretty soon. So I'm not sure what I'll do tomorrow, but whatever it is, it will be good. I do wanna finish building all of this stuff, it's just that, like I said, I really gotta think about what I wanna do with the animals, since this is not enough room for all the animals and what I wanted to do. I wanted to build like an enclosure, a sanctuary, and this is like 40 dirt blocks. I can't really do anything on that. So I will keep thinking about that and I will get to the end eventually, get those shulker boxes, some end city loot. I think everything's going pretty good so far and my island will look way better at the end of these 100 days. Since the renovations are going good, it's just a guy I think. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do now, so I've just gotta get ready to build it. I think I basically have all the materials I need. I just need to decide where I'm gonna start. And I think the first thing I'll actually do is remove a lot of the cows because I can't remake their pen right now if they're gonna fly out when I break anything. So I'll probably just leave like 10, then I will continue building their pen. Okay, I think I've removed a good amount of the cows. I'm just gonna go get some stone now and then build the pathway around them. I probably have to get more stone though since it's gonna take a lot. And right now I only have two stacks of actual stone. And I'm almost out of charcoal. All right, I got three stacks of slabs of every single stone block. And I'm gonna start building this stone walkway around these. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna fix the dimensions first though, cause I don't wanna get confused. Which means I have to move all of this back one block and I can replace the fence as I go. Okay, that is probably good for now. I just have to break these blocks and replace them with these stone slabs. I'm also going to have to fix the back here, so I might as well do that. Which means I actually need to go get some more dirt too, since I'll have to break... No, I actually don't have to break any of the blocks. I just have to place new wood ones here. Okay, I got some more dirt from my chest, so I'm just going to replace these wood blocks I don't need. And now that all of those wood blocks are replaced, I can start building the cobblestone path around it for now. I have a bunch of chests here though, so I guess I'll just build around them for now. Okay, it's the next day and I've been building this path. I got it all the way to here, but I have to take a pause because in my plans I have to move all of this villager stuff. Since I'm going to expand this and expand this, but I don't know where to put these animals and stuff too, so... I think I have to start building these pens and get them ready for a couple of mobs. I've also got to move this fence post over one. So hopefully too many cows don't escape. I've also got to expand these up one and remove these back fence since I had a different plan for the fence too. But I'll leave them with the mushrooms for now because I don't want them to escape. All right, and now that that is finished, I think I just need to go get some leaves and then I can move some mobs into this pen. All right, I got the saplings and I'm gonna get some wood and leaves. Okay, I had to get a big tree my first try, I guess. That's pretty unlucky, I think. Okay, I started collecting leaves, but I think I might get like a full single chest since I used a lot of them in the build I was planning to make. And I think I'm gonna destroy this tree farm too in a minute, so I won't really be able to grow them easily. So if I get all that I need right now, I won't have to rebuild the trees later. So I think one chest will probably be enough. Okay, I just collected a bunch of leaves and some extra wood, which I think will last me as long as I need. And now that I have leaves, I can continue building the mob area. 
The plan was to have these leaves behind here because it kind of resembles a hedge and it looks nice. And I think having fence all the way around would look kind of boring. So it will look something like that and the front will still be fenced for we can get in and out of the pens obviously. Like I said earlier though, we need to make some more room over here so we can expand this. And the first thing I'm going to move are these llamas since they're going to go right next to the mushrooms. So I just got to pull all of them out with my leads. Okay, there we go. Nobody else ran out too, so that's good. And then I can just pull them into their pen right here. And I actually don't have fence, so I got to get some more. All right, I'll just do that for now. I also need a slab right here, but I don't have a wood slab. I can craft some though. Okay, and that should be done for the llamas too. Okay, I'm kind of at a dead end again since to do anything else, I need to move these villagers for I can expand this, for I can move the horses. But to move the villagers, I need to find out where I'm going to move them. I can move them in a temporary spot for now, but I also have to cure all three of these guys, so I think I'll do that first. I just need one weakness potion and three golden apples, so let me go see how you brew one of those, and I will try to do it. And it looks like all my nether wart is grown, so I can harvest that and replant it. Okay, so to make the potion, I need sugar, a brown mushroom, and a spider eye, which I had in the base. And then I place the brewing stand, and I should just be able to do that, I think. Okay, the last thing I need to make it work is some blaze powder to power it or whatever. Then that should turn into a weakness potion, which I need to use some gunpowder to splash it. Then after that, it should be good to go. So let me try to make the golden apples now. Okay, I do have some leftover gold up here from trading. And there's three golden apples. Now I just gotta go get the potion, and I can cure all three of those guys and slowly move them away. Okay, so I just gotta splash all three of them. Then I give them each the golden apple, which is really loud for some reason. And I think you just wait like 10 minutes. And while I wait for those guys, I can start to move all three of these villagers. So I will make them go under here. And I will probably just keep all of them near the tree farm for now, since I'm not sure where they're going yet. I could probably just make a little box out of some slabs right here. Okay, there we go. And now I just gotta move them one by one now. Okay, I gotta move the first villager. Looks like he's stuck in a wall though. And the second villager who also went towards the fence for some reason. And then I can push them both into there. And I gotta get the mine carts back. Okay, now I gotta go get more. And the next villager to get moved will be the Fletcher who has given me lots and lots of emeralds. And I've also gotta move this guy, the one next to the zombies, but he didn't get into a zombie somehow. All right, we've already moved four villagers. I gotta break those mine carts too, though, because they might try to steal them if I don't. Oh, it looks like I just got the achievement, so the zombies are healed. And I also made this way to get out of here. I just click the mine cart and then shift. Okay, there's three villagers in this one, so I gotta move all of them. Okay, there's three more of the villagers. Gotta break their mine carts, though, too. Okay, the next villager I'm gonna move is this single librarian right here. And I can also start moving all of these five villagers. I don't even know how I got so many over here. Okay, there's one. And this guy will be number two. Oh, this guy's going the wrong way though. Yeah, okay, both of you go that way. One more mine cart, but I am out of rail, so let me go help these guys. Okay, why are all the villagers crowding right there? There should be enough room for everybody. Maybe I should expand this. Okay, it is a little bit bigger now. Why are the villagers crowding around the rails though? Doesn't even make sense. Okay, I finally fixed it, but it's gonna keep getting harder since there's so many villagers still. And those two are blocking this guy now too. Okay, now he flew in. No, he didn't. Okay, there we go, now he did. Maybe I should just move the rail right here or something. Okay, and I can get two more villagers, which will be this guy and this guy. And this is the last villager if we aren't counting the ones in there that I have to move. Okay, I'm still moving villagers, and I think there's only like three left if you don't include the ones up there. But I'm probably going to take a break from that because it is very boring. What I'm going to do now is replace this with some grass and continue expanding it on both sides. And I can also continue expanding this path behind the farms. Alright, it is nighttime, but I did expand the path a bit, and I started making the outline for the third farm. I just can't continue building yet because of all the villager stuff. Okay, I can move the horses and donkeys in one second. I just have to place the grass here and then make the fence. And I think I should be ready. Okay, now that the fence is there, just gotta place some fence in the front. And I can place a couple of fence gates. Move them one at a, well, I guess three at a time, but. Okay, I gotta move this pan out the way though, because it looks like he wants to get out fast. Then I can take the three horses and I can 
Okay, no, the panda is literally trying to leave. What is he doing? I can pull the horses out and a donkey, I guess. I got the wrong mob, but it's okay because they're going in the same place. Okay, it looks like two of my leads broke, but they both walked in. So now I just need to get the other donkeys and horse. No, the polar bear ran out. What the heck? That's okay. We can lead the polar bear, so he'll be easy to get him back in. But if the panda gets out, we got to push him all the way back. Okay, come back, polar bear. And then the last mob to move is a single donkey. Well, the last mob for now. Then that should be it for all the animals in this pen. And it looks pretty okay to me. I think so I can keep building though. I'll move the polar bear over here. Just in the middle of the walkway for now. This is only temporary. Then I can push the pen over there too and I can break all of this stuff and continue building and then make them their own pens too. Okay, the pen and the polar bear are fine. And now we can start breaking all of these blocks that we don't need which is this entire villager box. And then I also have to destroy these blocks since there'll be a path here. And I can pick up all these rails since I'm sure I will have to use them again. Well, I'll leave the middle rail since I need to move these guys still. I'm also gonna finish building this path in between the farms too. Then I can build the other farm since I cleared out all the space almost. Okay, this path is done now. And now I need to keep breaking these blocks since this will be a farm. Okay, and now all this base is cleared out so I can start building this farm now. I just gotta start with the bottom block of this, like that. And then I can continue building the outline. Oops, actually, that goes down one block. Okay, now I can build this like that. And then all the way over to the other side too. I do need to go down with some water and place some more underneath blocks though, so I can build the outline. Okay, that should be good. Okay, and the outline for this farm is finished. I just think I need to collect some more dirt from the one block probably since I'm almost out if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think this is like all the rest of the dirt I have and I'm gonna need a lot more for the animal area over there. So maybe it's time to take a break and mine the block for a bit because I could also beat the ender dragon probably. But before I do, I'm gonna make sure I'm completely out of dirt. Yeah, I am completely out. So I'm gonna also just enchant a diamond sword while I'm down here since I do want a diamond sword eventually, hopefully. Okay, those are two enchants I don't want. Okay, bait of arthropods again. Okay, looting three fire spec two. That's a good sword. But I'm out of XP now, so I will continue making that sword later. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go mine the block. Okay, it says the end is near. And I wonder if my portal got destroyed. I'm gonna go check. Ooh, we got a free ender eye in the chest and some more arrows. Okay, and it looks like the block is actually upgrading now too. I wonder what the next phase is. Maybe it's just like the infinite block or whatever. I kind of forget. Okay, yeah, it looks like somehow my sorting system survived. The end is now the frames of the blocks. Okay, well, I guess I'll get some more ender eyes in a minute, and I might go fight the dragon. Okay, and it's gonna upgrade to... Oh, I forgot I have my chat turned off. But yeah, it looks like it's an infinite block. Ooh, another wandering trader. Seems like he doesn't really give us anything too useful, though. But I'll keep him right there. And yeah, we can get dirt again, so that means I can finish everything I want to build now. Okay, I guess some water got spawned in. That's pretty bad. And I don't have an infinite water source anymore anywhere, so I should probably make another one. Actually, no, I have one right here, I guess. I think I will go ahead and go fight the dragon tomorrow, though, just to get it over with. And shulker boxes will help me have more space. Ooh, another mushroom cow spawned, so maybe that means I can get sheep again. I don't know, I guess I'll find out. I think while I wait for the next day, I'm just going to probably repair my pickaxe and axe since... They do have a lot of damage taken on them. Well, I didn't fully repair my tools, but I am going to go to the end now. Just got to go grab three ender eyes, I think it is. And then I will defeat the ender dragon. All right, well, here I go. I'm going to defeat the dragon and get probably a couple of shulker boxes. I think I have everything that I need. All right, I'm in the end. I just got to stack up and I'll probably shoot the crystals down with my crossbow. Okay, I've broken like three crystals, four crystals. That's number five. Okay, I think I have two left. Okay, well, I think I got all of the crystals now, but maybe I missed one. I guess I'll find out if she heals. Dragon's also coming down, so I will come here and I will hit her with my sword. Hopefully I can get the dragon to under half. Well, it's definitely not under half, but I can use my crossbow now. Okay, the dragon is coming down again. Okay, one quarter left, which I can probably do with my bow. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to finish the dragon off with my sword since she came back down. And I also get a bunch of free XP, so I can enchant my new diamond sword with that. But before I go back, I'm also just going to leave the dragon egg here since it's safer, probably. I'm going to go try and find an elytra, though, real quick. All right, it looks like I finally found an end city. I'm just going to enter Pearl up so I can get up there fast. Okay, that I missed. Okay, I did get there now, though, so... 
I just gotta kill these shulkers. Shulkers have a lot of health, now that I think about it, because they always take so long to kill. And then they always teleport away, so you don't even know which one is which. Just have to bridge over to the end ship now, which is not that far away. Okay, I tried to speed bridge and I fell, so I have to go all the way back up. Okay, I just got some levitation from the shulkers. Nah, I don't think I can make it up there, so I'm gonna use my last ender pearl. Then I can go get Elytra and I'm gonna leave. Okay, here is the Elytra. Now I can fly out of here. Okay, I'm back at the portal and I'm ready to go back to the overworld. And now that I'm back, I can make some shulker boxes too. Well, I'm just gonna make one for now, but I'll just put my building supplies in there since I'm gonna mine the block to get more dirt so I can finish building my base. I also just remember to have a list XP so I can keep trying to get a good sword enchant too. Weeping Edge 3 and Breaking 3. Yeah, I think I can still do better than that. I also enchanted some books and I got Power 4, which I'm gonna try to add to my crossbow. But I'm almost out of XP, so I don't ever know what to do. Yeah, I'm not getting any good enchants. And I keep getting knocked back and stuff. Okay, this is my last try for a sword. Well, I guess I could combine these sharpness ones, then combine these. I don't have enough XP, but this sword will do for now. Oh my gosh, I actually just got another sheep. I don't even know if it was possible. I don't have any room to pit them or an official spot, but I could probably just pin with the cows. I'm gonna go find my leads. I just need to get one more and I can bring back the sheep from extinction. Okay, come on sheep. Okay, the sheep is safe and no wolves will hurt them now. I'm just gonna keep mine the block though, because I need a lot more dirt to finish all of my builds over there. Ooh, there's a monster party. Looks like it's not too difficult though. It's only about like six mobs it looks like. And they fell into the portal anyway. Just have three Vex left. And they do no damage to me anymore. Okay, just one left, but looks like he's playing in the void anyway, so. I just spent the whole day mining the box, so I think now I'm going to go repair all my tools and get some XP from the mob grinder. And then tomorrow I will see if I have enough dirt to keep expanding. And I will probably finish the whole base for these 100 days, hopefully. As you can see, I repaired my tools and got a bit of extra XP too. And I can also add power 4 to... Okay, never mind. You can't add power to crossbows, I guess. All of my chests are full, so I'm just going to go ahead and add another one at the bottom. And I emptied out some stuff that I didn't really need in here. But they're still pretty full. I also found like 43 dirt in total. So I'm going to have to keep mining the block for a bit before I continue building the base. Which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Okay, I've just been mining the block, but a polar bear spawned, so I can go and put him back here too. Alright, I put the polar bear with the panda and other polar bears, so he's safe now, and I'm gonna continue mining the block for a while. I got another panda bear too just now, so I guess I have to push him all the way over here. I wasn't really expecting to get more panda bears or polar bears, and I'm still waiting on that second sheep. Okay, I spent all of yesterday mining the block, and I guess my chests are full again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all the dirt out, and throw away some items that I don't really need. Alright, since I have dirt, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this farm now too. I've also gotta place the fence, and the two water buckets, with the trap doors on top of them. Okay, the farm is done, I just have to plant some seeds, which I will do later. The next thing I'm gonna do is destroy all of these blocks I don't need for now, and then I'll move these villagers too in a second. Okay, I cleared all of the garbage except for that. And now I'm gonna build the end of where the farm will be. I still have to remove this, but I'm gonna build the outline first. Okay, I just spent the whole previous night moving the two chests that were here, so I'm ready to start expanding the wood now. And I can also probably start moving the villagers since I have to destroy all of this, and I gotta do it at some point. The only problem is sometimes the villagers do not wanna cooperate, and they just don't get in the minecarts. Okay, there's one. Okay, I have three villagers on mine carts, which is good enough for now. So now I just have to start moving all of them. So let me just push these two guys. Then I have to rebuild this guy's track. It's gonna be so hard to break the mine carts because I don't even know how many villagers are in there, but they do not even fit. And they're already getting pushed back. So let me go see who's blocking the track. Okay, literally every single villager is blocking the track. Okay, I think if I go fast enough, I can get all three of them in. Okay, everybody can get pushed in. And I gotta go. Okay, well, two of them got knocked back, but... Okay, I moved all three of the villagers in there somehow. I think there's just, like, three left now. Okay, I opened it up since the villagers need to come over here. Okay, here. This should be good. No, why are you leaving minecart? Hey, can this villager just get in a minecart? What is he doing? Okay, yeah, I don't know. He doesn't want to get in, but... I think we can break these guys down, too. Everyone get in a minecart. Okay, just one more villager left. No, get in the minecart, dude. Come on. Okay, everyone is in a minecart. The last three villagers. Let's go. 
Oh my gosh, there's so many villagers in here. Ooh, two of them actually managed to get in though. I just have to push everybody away again. Come on, new villagers coming in, don't block. And then push them in here. Okay, there we go. I have every single villager and I'm ready to start destroying. Okay, and as you can see, I made sure to save the carpet and the beds since they're pretty limited resource in this world until we get the sheep. And now I can keep destroying all of this stuff that I don't need, which includes this entire platform and all of these rails. Okay, all of that is destroyed. So I'm probably just gonna start with building these paths real quick since it'll give us something to walk on. And it'll just make building it easier and it'll give us a nice shape to be able to just see and I mean just be able to tell what it's gonna look like. Okay, there we go. I have the whole outline around the farm done, which means I just have to build this upper part of the farm now too. And don't forget the corner. I gotta make it this way too. And then I just place the too high wall and then we can start placing the dirt. I'm pretty sure I have enough dirt to finish this entire thing. Well, I finished and I am missing just a little bit, but I'm gonna let all of the dirt grow and then I'll get some more dirt later and then finish building it. But I can build the hedges for now, just like that. The outline bushes are done and I just need some more dirt, like I said, which I am not gonna do right now. But something that I can do right now is begin building this outline of leaves. Okay, I placed all the leaves. I'm gonna start building the villager area, which will be just across right here. Uh, I was just building and I mean, what is happening here? This is kind of awful. Wandering trader, how did that even happen? I didn't push anyone off the cliff, I promise. I don't know how that happened. But the design for this place will be kind of like this. It will be the pathway and then some more leaves. And then there will be like three villager booths on each side. I've just got to get the dimensions right, which is pretty tricky. And it does actually take a while. So once I finish those dimensions, I'm pretty much good to go though. Okay, I went ahead and built like one side of this. So I'm going to try and start building the other part too. But I also plan on making it out of spruce wood. And I need to grow a spruce tree or two. Because I don't have any spruce wood. So I guess I need to steal one dirt as well. And I'm just going to use this big area I just made to cut down the spruce trees. Since it's kind of convenient. Okay, I probably don't need that much. But I might just get a stack or two or maybe even three stacks of spruce. And that should be enough. We're slowly approaching that 100 day mark. And I don't have that much time left. But I'm pretty confident I can finish everything I want to build in that time. I do have to get some more dirt, so I think tonight I'm gonna not sleep and mine the block instead. Since I need like 20, 30 dirt maybe, so that would probably take a bit. Especially since my chest system sorting is broken, because there's way too many items. I can probably add another two chests below with some ladders though, to fix that. But it looks like the first spruce tree is basically chopped down already. I just gotta break the blocks going downward. I forget where I learned how to do this tree chopping method, but I've done it ever since I was a little kid on like... 1.8 or something probably whenever spruce trees were added i think my cousin taught it to me oh, i need to wait for the leaves to fall while i wait for the leaves to fall though i can start outlining the build there will be five block gaps in between all of these entrances yeah just like that and then there will also be wood instead of stone on these blocks okay so that will be one of the booths and i think it also goes three blocks up and now I have to wait for spruce because the next steps I need spruce for. It looks like I have two spruce saplings so far, which is actually pretty bad, I think. I'm going to fix these wood blocks that I left behind, though, while I wait for the tree to fall, since I don't really have anything else to do. Okay, a lot more trees are falling. I got seven saplings now. All the leaves are almost gone, so I'm going to plant the tree in one little second. But while I have the time, I might as well keep expanding this stone platform. Okay. It probably would be smart to keep waiting, but I think that is enough saplings and enough leaves gone. So I'm going to plant the second tree and I probably won't have to chop down another one after this. Okay, I got almost three stacks of spruce, which I think is more than enough. So I'm going to go ahead and start building the villager booths. So I'm going to need a bunch of slabs and then, well, actually these leaves are right here still. So I need this block. While I wait for those leaves to decay, I can clean up this villager area though. Oh, I actually finished the whole platform it looks like. I didn't even really realize that. Oh no, I do have some over here left. Wait. Okay, I don't know. I think maybe I made the platform too big. Let's do some dimension checking. So there's five gap. Okay, well. See, the villagers are blocking this now again. So it's kind of hard to check. But yeah, this is too big by two blocks. So I'll break that while the tree decays. I just gotta break two blocks off all of these. Thankfully, no villagers will fall since it's just outside of the cage I built them. Cage seems kind of like a vulgar word to use for a place to keep villagers. So 
Maybe I should pick a different one. Anyway, though, the leaves are decayed enough to start building, I think. So I just need to place some spruce slabs around the roof. And I also need some spruce stairs since that's also a part of my plan. Also, I said it earlier, but if you guys didn't, make sure to comment thank you, Annalise, because without her, I would have never built anything even like this. Sometimes you need a different set of eyes to tell you what is wrong with your build, and I really thought my build was good. But yeah, I mean, the other build was just objectively worse than this one. I added a lot of cool stuff to this, and I really like the changes I made. Well, that we made, because she helped me with a lot of the changes. So like I said, leave it in the comments if you like the base especially, because the base wouldn't exist without her. And if you're listening to this, thank you Annalise, you're awesome. But enough with that, time to get back to the building. I have been building this secondary one right here. Oh yeah, also I'm gonna add a leaf roof on top of these things, but I'm gonna save that for after. I also have to add the wood right here because I think it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna start moving the villagers after I finish this since there's so many villagers in there. And yeah, we gotta start moving them into these booths because they need to get some sell in. These villagers have a job to do. Okay, and the last booth for this side is basically done. Just gotta add these stairs. And I do also need to place some fence to hold the villagers in. So just like this, every other block in here. And now I need to get my rails and start making some tracks into these so I can move the villagers. I should probably make some more rails too, but before doing any of that, it's turning night. So I need to make sure all of this has lighting on it. And then make sure this whole platform is lit up. I can bring all the torches after if it looks ugly. I do not want anyone killing all my villagers. That would be really annoying. So I'm actually just going to over light this up. Because if you guys remember, the plan was for me to go mine the block to get the extra dirt I need. So I'm going to do that until daytime. And I think I all this is lit up enough. I'll actually place a fence here too, just in case they can spawn in that area. Okay, it looks like I only need like 20, 24, 30 dirt. So maybe I'll just get lucky and get it off the bat. Okay, but there is a monster party spawning, which is low-key a little bit annoying, but it's whatever. They're not that hard to kill. Especially with my piercing crossbow, I can just shoot like four mobs at once. Okay, is there only one mob left? To be honest, that was like the easiest monster party ever. They probably all fell into the portal, honestly. Okay, there. I need some slabs. Okay, why is this water not moving? <laughs> it's broken. Okay, there we go. It's fixed. Now I have to try to get that grass again. I should add two more chests to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do that. But to do that, I need to water down, and I'll get some ladders too, and I can just place them like this probably. Okay, this is really close to the void. I also have to place some slabs down here to stand on them. Okay, now I've placed all of the chests that I'm adding. Looks like I can add three, nice. Then I also need three hoppers then. I think those all should be connected. Yeah, they're all connected. So, I just go mine the block for a bit and hope and pray I get all the dirt I need. Okay, it's the next day and I got 23 dirt. Hopefully that's enough to finish this. But I mean, I can just kind of tell by looking at it that is definitely not enough, which is kind of unfortunate. But I will mine the block again tonight or something. So for now, I gotta keep building this area, which means I have to go through the terrible task of moving the villagers and minecarts. Okay, we have the first villager. Well, he's moving real fast. I couldn't even keep up with him. Okay, is there a torch on this guy or something? Why can't I place a rail? I don't know why I couldn't place a rail. Alright, so this guy is a journeyman. So we want all of these stalls to hopefully be journeyman villagers to match. No, get back in there, dude. Should I punch him? No, that's just mean and I think I can... Okay, there we go. But now, no, for the future, I need to make them a two-wide thing. I thought maybe the fence would count as a two-wide block, but I guess not. I also lost my minecart, which is really annoying. Okay, the second villager is on the move, but this is actually a default villager, so I want to move him to a different spot. I will move the default villagers to the third box for now. But yeah, we have to find a way to make this wider, so I can probably just do something like this. And then I break this, and then the rails. Hey, please don't run out, villager. Okay, there we go. And then I can just push him in. Excuse me, buddy. All right, there we go. Another villager is in. This is probably going to take a while since moving villagers is honestly pretty hard. <laughs> okay, can you guys stop blocking him? Are you jealous or something that's not your turn yet? Everyone gets a turn, even you, Mr. Pirate Villager. That's a really cool looking skin, to be honest. Oh my gosh, you're about to push this guy off the cliff, dude. Guys, move out the way. Okay, this is ridiculous. I think I'm going to actually move this guy to the middle since he's an armorer villager. And we can put the weapon guys next to him too, so I've got to do this again. Like that, break the mine cart. Oh no, I hit him. I'm sorry. Good thing I don't need to try with him anytime soon. 
Wait, how are villagers getting out? Oh, because I placed that block there. Yeah, if you guys could like just not be annoying, that would literally be awesome. Okay, I guess they're just trying to escape the tiny... You know what? They're not being annoying. They're just being villagers. Because to be honest, these are not very good living conditions I've given them. Moving villagers takes so long. I need more mine carts too. So I'm going to get some more iron real quick. Okay, we need to get the next villager, which... We want to be a journeyman, preferably. <laughs> Wait, no, journeyman is just a subcategory, so Mason is also one of the villagers we could put there. I am not a villager expert, that's for sure. Ooh, that guy started suffocating. I'm gonna make some more rails for it's a little bit easier to get these villagers around, and I'm gonna piss some of my loot away since my inventory is full. Okay, 36 rails. Now I just gotta move this villager, and he is actually going all the way over here. Yeah, okay, that works perfectly. And just like before, we have to place the slab, break the minecart, and get a fence right in front of him. Okay, another villager is finished. So I need a weaponsmith or... Yeah, this guy's a journeyman or weapons... Wait. Dude, villagers are so confusing. You can't tell what they are by their skins, so it just makes it so hard. I want this villager to go on that minecart. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's actually the right villager. And he's already leaving. Awesome. Okay, looks like he... Oh, there's no rail, that's why. And we should be able to get him to go right there. Why is he going backwards? Okay, he is also in the villager cage now. I mean, the trading hall too. So we have all three of these quartz guys. And then we need the weaponsmith. I just saw him a second ago. But I could also use the default villagers. And it looks like there's a couple of them here. Come on, get in there. Oh, he's suffocating too. Poor villager, dude. Uh, wrong way, mister. Default villager goes this way. Well, I actually just thought of something. I need to save two default villagers for breeding. So let me go ahead and make a breeding area down here. Or just like a little place to pit a couple of villagers. I need to go get some more water to do that. I finished this area so we can have some villagers down here. Well, I need torches so no monsters can spawn. And then I will just like be able to build a breeder at some point if I ever need more. So let me just grab two default villagers. Which I think will actually be pretty easy since there's two right here. Okay, there's one. And then first try number two. No, we got lucky. But this guy actually, I know where he goes. Ooh, look at that clutch switch. Nope, no, 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 no. And that's also the wrong way. Okay, let's move that villager now. Okay, yeah, that's actually where he goes. So just got to break some of these rails. This is taking way longer than I thought it would. Wound villagers is such a chore. So let me break this guy. And then like always, push him back, place the fence. Okay, we have two more villagers to move. And then I can start building the next one. Oh, yeah. Default villager, I'll see you someday. Ooh, he took damage. I feel kind of bad about that. But we do need another default villager. Okay, there we go. And then we can just send them straight down and block them up. Oh, uh, okay, just right down there, buddy. Well, if you could just move your noggin a little bit to the side. Okay, well, he'll move it at some point. Actually, he won't because they're both stuck in a minecart. Okay, and then I guess I just have to stack up really fast before they jump on it. Okay, there we go. Now I just block him off. Okay, another default villager. So we just send him right over here. Okay, well, I have to start building the next villager holding huts because, I mean, yeah, there's way too many. Let's actually see how many do I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, I think I have just enough. That's awesome. Okay, so we place one here. We go five blocks back. Okay, well, that's definitely not right. I just remembered though it is nighttime and I do have to mine the block at least a little bit more because I just need like eight pieces of dirt. Uh, so that's not nice creeper. Why are you in there? All right. If I am correct, this is day 99. So I've really got to pick up the pace if I want to finish all of this. I need to get my spruce slabs and build this roof too. Oh yeah. And my spruce stairs. I almost forgot about that. Where did I put those? I think this first booth will be clerics. That's why I already have this guy ready right here. So I mean, I might as well go ahead and move him. Okay, I'm making some good progress. I'm basically just building it around them, but it has come to the point where I need to start moving some villagers again, because right here, I'll pit three more default villagers that can turn into something into the future. But yeah, I need to move them still, which is a bit of a problem because it takes so long. I also did move the two clerics over here from earlier, if anyone was curious. And then I just have two random villagers here, so I guess this default guy can probably go into this one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna keep putting all these villagers in. I'm trying to go fast since I don't have much time left. And I can go faster if I'm focusing. So that's why I haven't been commentating as much. And since this is a pretty repetitive task anyway. Oops, don't leave, please. Okay, I think I need to move all these default villagers out of here. 
Should be the plan. Somebody needs to get on the mine cart, so I'll just place a bunch of them, I guess. Can anyone get in one? Okay, librarian. But wait, what can we do with librarian? I actually want the librarian in here. No, go back. You're the only villager I didn't want out. Default villager, get on the mine cart. Thank you. And then another default villager. Dude, are you joking? Whatever. Okay, why are they going that way? I hate how that happens. Okay, I have barely any villagers left to move. I do need to go get some more spruce fence though since i'm out i think i have every single villager slot filled up and then there's just this extra villager right here so i'm not sure what i'll do with him okay i just have a wild villager around i guess but it's almost night time i need to finish building this stuff so let me finish this tear area and then place these slabs on top too i've also got to clean up all of this random stone and rails Okay, everything is starting to look better, but I still have some finishing touches to do. I actually just remembered I got more dirt last night and I never placed it. Oh my gosh, it's enough dirt. <laughs> Barely enough, dude. Okay, so I guess I have to finish this area still too, but I will save that for next because we need to go finish the villager pen still. All right, I've got to break these and replace them with wood too. And honestly, I think I'm really just about done, basically. I'm very close, at least. Yeah, we need to place the slabs in the middle too and then the leaves on top still. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, I spent like a couple minutes just cleaning everything up, the torches and stuff. And then I was placing the leaves, getting the roofs done a bit. And yeah, I think we should be able to finish everything on time. I also have to clean these torches up, I guess. Oh my gosh, the villager wandered all the way over here. That's so annoying. This is why I hate villagers, but I mean, they didn't really do anything wrong, I guess. I'm also going to start building the tree farm area, which is a 13 by 13 platform, I think. It's almost day 100 as you can see by that sun over there, so I'm really cutting it close on time. Well, it's here. The big 100. I've got a lot of things to finish, so... I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish all of them. Can you not, Mr. Skeleton? Thank you. I do not have time to deal with these monsters. Okay, now I should be able to place all these leaves like this. Then I should be able to place one dirt two blocks away from each corner. And then a 3x3 three three of dirt in the middle. Oh no, what happened? No, that looks right. Okay, guys, I think I need to redo my math. Something looks wrong. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did end up fixing it, so it should be working now. I'm gonna go ahead and place a torch in every corner and on every other block like this around it. Okay, and then the next step is I need some more spruce wood. I might have to cut down a tree real quick. No, we have a stack still, that's a lot. And I need to craft a bunch of trap doors since i did want to do this on all of these since it looks a lot better okay i'm about to be done placing these roofs of the villager huts too which i think look very very nice and i also placed all of the trap doors and i do need a little bit more of them since i was planning on building some over here too well i was planning to do this which is actually annalise's idea so as you can see i do need just a couple more so i guess i'll need to chop down well, actually, I can chop down a little spruce tree. I don't even need the big one. I probably need two of those if I had to guess. Okay, I hope that's enough. Yeah, 14. I feel like we're gonna be like one off actually because it takes four for each. Are we gonna ha we're gonna be two off, right? No? Okay, yeah, we're gonna be perfect. Nice. Okay, now that is a very nice place to grow trees. So now that that is finished and... Oh no, I forgot I have to take the villagers out of their carts. I mean, that shouldn't take too long. Just gotta do like that. Place the fence. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, I just finished it. That was actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. And now I have to go all the way over here. And I have to finish the polar bear and the panda pen. I do need some fence to do that though. So let me just craft just a couple. Yeah, I don't think six will be enough to be honest. Okay, yeah, 15 fence and then I just take it right down the middle. Okay, perfect. I also have to place a couple of torches. But yeah, I need to do this block right here. Do I have any slabs? I do have a slab. Okay, so now I need a couple blocks of bamboo and some snow, and that should be it. Okay, I'm so close. I just have to place a little bit of snow. I don't really have time to pick up this dirt. No, forget about the dirt, dude. It doesn't even matter anymore. I can get more from the block if I do 200 days. Alright, <laughs> there we go. That is so much snow. I need fence gates too. I should have some. Okay, not a lot, but I do have some. And then I just need to also make the panda bears a hole right here. I'll place some torches out the front for them. And then plant a bunch of bamboo in the corner. Just like this. Well, I do need one torch. Okay, there we go. That's fine. And then I can just blow meal these. And then I move the polar bears first since they're easier. Come on, polar bears. Okay, now we lock the panda bears away. Hey, right, come on. Welcome to your new home. And there's two of you now, so you can keep each other company. Originally, there was only going to be one polar bear, so... 
Then the slow, slow, slow panda push. Are you joking? Can you not shoot me? Oh no, don't be scared, panda. Your new home is over here. Dude, the panda found bamboo on the ground or something. What? What is he eating? Okay, I'm glad you enjoyed your food. Now it's time to get into your house. Thank you. Oh, I've also got to finish these. I kind of forgot about that. And then I can also place some more torches. I will plant the seeds too. I mean, I just gotta move the pandas first. And then I can also break these as I move the panda. I'm just joking, that's so inefficient. Okay, the panda bear's in the pen now, so that is basically it. I just gotta clean a couple things up since it's still day 100 and I have a little bit of time left. There's a lot of stuff I didn't have time to do, so if you do want to see 200 days, then leave a comment saying 200 days, please, and leave some ideas of what to do in 200 days too. Because there's lots of comments saying 200 days for this, but you know, you guys gotta leave some ideas in those comments too, like what can I do in 200 days? I do have a lot of stuff to do though that I know of in this world. But yeah, if you want 200 days, make sure to leave a like also and share this video with a friend and subscribe. Because if this video gets a lot of support, I will definitely make it 200 days and maybe eventually we'll get all the way up to 1000 days on this world. I didn't finish everything I wanted, but I think the main premise is there and everything that I imagined is basically here. Also, there's going to be carrots, potatoes, beetroot in all these farms eventually. But for today, that is basically all the time I have since, as you can see, the sun is coming up somewhere soon. But I already basically said everything I had to say, so click the video on screen now if you want to see another one just like this. And if you got this far in the video, seriously, thank you for watching all of this. It's a long video and it took a long time to make, so I really, really, really do appreciate everybody watching to the end.